Yeah. You never know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's see. We'll see. We'll, we'll get it back. We'll get it back. <laughs> People aren't going anywhere. We're hanging. We're, we're, we came back for a second and it started buffering again. You guys, uh, can you forgive us? I apologize about the Wi-Fi. Um, we're back. And I hope it's cool. And it's working. Give us a, yep. give us, give us a, give us a, out of 10, how's it look right now? Give us a one through a 10. And I'll know that you guys are hearing me when it starts coming up. Eight out of 10, 10. Eight out of 10, 10 out of 10. We got an 11. Oh. I don't know if you guys oh, know. Oh, an 11 out of 10. Wow. We're done. You guys, rating systems don't work like that. If you go above <laughs> 10, it means nothing. It doesn't. Oh, no, mean... it does mean something. No, it doesn't. If I said. If your spinal tap, it does. What if I said, do you like the color blue? Yes or no? And you answered green. That would make it. That's not the right the answer. Anyway, forty-two. I'm interrupting Tom. He had the board. He that's had the so right. Tom, go yeah. go through. Pick and pick up where you left off. I do have one yeah. question. If you don't mind my interrupting, hit it, hit it. you said that there's a point during the early part of the day that you take pictures for social. Mm. Are those candid's or are they? Do you have a, a point in um, time where you stage stuff? There's yeah. There's there's generally there's generally. I mean, I'm catching candid stuff kind of all the time. Anyway, um, that's the stuff that I. Th think really tells kind of like a different story and if people don't notice that's kind of my favorite that's kind of my favorite uh favorite thing just shoot is the candy stuff and it's like the little moments that people don't don't think are like are being captured or anything and then when they get the dropbox that night or the next morning they're like oh yeah sick um and that kind of thing but at the same point we do we do a lot of like more like editorial kind of stuff where it's like pose and stage and okay like, um so yeah it's a bit it's a bit of a mix but i, I mean I, re I really enjoy doing both i think um, but yeah, I'm, I'm catching like candid stuff, like kind of all the way through the day as well, just while people are just like setting up and like chilling and sound checking and that kind of thing. Yeah. You got um, a very raw style. I like it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah, it's, um, you're photojournalistic in the way you frame things. Yeah. It's, it's like, I, I think that's, I think I, I look a lot at the old kind of like old rock and roll kind of super iconic kind of shots, like some like. I was like, just gonna say, give me an example. Like Charles, Charles Peterson is the first person that comes to mind. Like from that kind of like uh, super early kind of like Seattle grunge kind of scene, um, or then like I take a lot of inspiration from like more UK based stuff. So like Kevin Cummings, who used to do a lot of like the Joy Division stuff. Um, Joy Division is like one of my favorite bands ever. I think they're incredible. Okay. Some of some of the visuals that like he created with them is just absolutely nuts. Um, so I kind of I kind of try and try and draw some inspiration from that i guess in the kind of the kind of way that i'm that i'm shooting because there's just some there's like I, mean, I never i never run out of like um like a super old like rock and roll iconic photos that i'm just like wow i really really wish i took that and then try and bring some of that into like what i'm doing i think perfect yeah dude i mean i think that you're a really good example of and we talked about this on another stream i did where you really have to know your style be your style and it's a part mm. of you and you're a good example like like, I don't think that we've ever met in real life, to my knowledge, but no, you look like your style. Like, when I see your photos, I'm like, that guy makes that. It's like, I feel like you feel it. And I feel like you just yeah. go through your photo and express yourself. And I like that vibe about your images. So, good I, I, respect. I, yeah. Thank you. No, I think I, I'm, I'm very lucky that, uh, I think I said this on, on another kind of stream thing the other week, that I'm very lucky that I get to uh, create kind of what I, what I want to while still being kind of in the right kind of lane for... Mm -hmm the artist that I work with. Um, and like, even from like the very first day we met, I remember he, he kind of was saying what he wanted. And he was talking about all this kind of like Britpop influences and all this kind of grunge stuff. And I was like, okay, this, this is cool. This isn't really something that I've got to like explore properly. Yes. Because before that I was doing a lot of like, um, I was doing a lot of like label work and stuff. So I'd go and like shoot a show for a label or like do like kind of slightly smaller scale touring kind of stuff. Okay. Um, but then I jumped on the Youngblood job and it was kind of like, I got to, I got to explore kind of a totally different way of editing and the style something that I was like, like I love, I love like the old kind of filmy kind of vibes and that kind of thing. Um, and it kind of lent itself quite well to it. And so fortunately we kind of like kind of came together in that, in that kind it's of first right, week. right place, right time. And you guys just kind of were on the same level and you really, 100%, 100%. and you really, it really shows like you really work with this person. You don't work for him. Mm. He doesn't right. work for you. Like you guys collaborate very much and it shows. And mm. I think that's when people make their best work. When you're like, hey, I'm going to create a, a scenario where you can kind of make this your own. And, yeah. And it, it shows in the, the, his expression, right? I mean, your, what you bring to it 
kind of comes back out of him. I'm looking at your Instagram right now. Mm. There's even a, a black and white picture, like in the second row on your Instagram. Yeah. No. That he's looking up at you and there's this checkered floor behind <clears> him. And there's something in his expression there that to me is part you. Wow. Well, wow. no, thank you very much. That's yeah. There's, he, I mean, he, say, he says <laughs> it quite, like, quite a lot. That it's like, especially when we're doing video stuff. Um, that we like, I think, I, I don't know what it is. I think it's because I've, I've done, we did like so many shows last year, like so many. Mm -hmm. And I think I know. Like at least three. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like at least three, maybe even four or five. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I know. We went really hard. Hold the front door. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I kind of like, I, it sounds really strange, but I kind of know the way that he moves now and the way that his body like moves. And so if he gets, starts to do a certain thing, I'm like, oh, okay, he's going to go there. Or I think he's going to go there or sometimes i think he's gonna go there and he doesn't and i'm in the wrong place and i'm like oh no and then but you generally... yell at him afterwards right You're like, yeah oh. and that's we like punches are thrown after the show <laughs> um, See, but that's that's one of the things that's interesting to me because i've shot young blood once mm. and he's not like that artist that is just moving around fast this is a guy who uses the whole stage, spends oh, yeah. a good part of the show in the air. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not like he comes over, sings a little bit stage left and then moves. He comes over to stage left, <clears throat> is there for a millisecond and he's moving again. Yeah. How are you Do we, calculating that? Did Steve I mean, and I collectively cut you off earlier, by the way? I apologize. And we, we apologize. No, no, we just no, got no, excited. No. Okay. no, it's fine. Just no, it's really <laughs> yeah. whatever. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, you're fine. Um, I don't even know what I was going to say anyway, so that's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it's i i must be like for the first three songs i must be so annoying in the pit because i like i kind of i kind of know where where he goes for some of the time because like this the set's pretty similar i mean we throw mm -hmm. like different songs and stuff in all the time um and i kind of know for certain it's where he's gonna be but it's like so unpredictable that i mean he, he might throw something somewhere on stage and i might be stood there or he like or he might like go just like jump off the stage and go into the crowd and get up on the barrier. And I'm like, whoa, okay. Um, I think I've just learned to kind of not ever stop during a show. Like I'm just, I'm like, I like run. Yeah. I like run everywhere. So workout uh, routine. Yeah. hundred percent. And it's like, I, we all, as part of like the stage kind of performance thing, we all have me and the crew all have these like, um, like kind of stab vest things like airsoft vests. Okay. And, and so that's like an extra layer. And so I'm like sprinting around as the venues have been getting bigger. I've been just like sweating and kind of just trying to follow him around the whole time, um, which is a challenge, but it's, yeah, I, there's a, there's a bit of a mix of me knowing where he's going to go and then me being able to kind of read what he's doing and where I think he might go and that kind of thing. But so yeah, some of it's very spontaneous, which is good. I mean, I'm good. I'm ready for the hair routine. Are you ready? Yeah. Very little, actually. All right, let's hear it. So clip when, this. When you're, when, when you're washing it, you've got to finish with cold water. When your hair's curly like mine, you've got to finish it with cold water because the friction in uh, the heat mm -hmm. causes it to like frizz up. Yeah. And then sea salt spray and bumble and bumble curl cream. There you go. That's it. Wow. All right. That's great. Let's round of applause. Everybody applause, applause, applause. We asked for it. He, he delivered. I've done he it. Called. I've done oh. it. Yes. All right, now Steve, your turn. The crowd, the crowds are happy. So good. I want to talk about your shot because I wait. I no, 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 no. Steve, oh. hair routine. Oh, my hair routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So my hair routine is a trimmer, and I do one row at a time oh. as I cut it off. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm Some people it. skip rows, like they'll do odd and then come back and circle back. Not me. I go straight through. Oh, I wow. love. I love it. It's a bald stance. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Did you say it's a bald stance instead of bold? Stance? <laughs> that, was want, that, was want, okay. that was That was good. That was quick. That was really good, Tim. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Oh, don't stop. <laughs> um, all right, cool. But yeah, Steve, now Tim, you can go. Tim Ramon. Yes. Steve, you want to actually screen? Do you have the shot on your? Do you yeah, I do. Screen share it and we'll get that up. Yeah, I'll do the. I'll, I'll screen share the raw. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> We can kind of talk. And I'm watching this. the stream, so I should be able to see if it's coming through okay. But you guys yeah. see it okay right yeah, now, right? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So I mentioned earlier, I thought when I look through your feed, it's very photojournalistic to me. And that's kind of what I get from this. And the other thing I see from this is your framing. Mm. You shot this wide. So you got, you were guaranteed to get the spot and the flare off the spot. 
you got the bottom right corner. In fact, you even got a security guy down in the bottom right corner. When you're shooting a shot like this, mm. is it your intention to, to shoot a little wide to crop? Do you, do you intend to crop afterwards? Um, yeah, generally. I mean, it's it, as like the venues and stuff have got big. I basically, first off, I just like love shooting wide. I just love, I just love it. I've got like a, I've got like a 12 mil uh, Samyang, which is what I shot this on. Ooh, is that yeah. manual yeah. focus? Yeah, it's manual. Yeah, Ooh. it's crisp. That's a crisp boy for a manual focus it's shot. The, it's wow. done, yeah. yeah, it's all right. Yeah. It's like, but it's also it's meant for um, like crop sensor. But I'm using it on a Sony A7 III, so I'm like Rebel. punching it. Yeah, um, and but yeah, I, I just I just like love shooting. I just love shooting wide, even like super close up. I love the kind of like distortion that you get from it. Um, and so a lot of, I mean, maybe like half the show, I think I've probably got that lens on my body. Um, but yeah, this, I just, I just love shooting, shooting his wide stuff because he's so kind of like, he's so animated. And like, as you say, we'll go somewhere for a split second and then bounce back. It's more, it's like, it's half like a creative thing. I think more a, a half kind of like a practical thing where it's like, because he just moves so quickly and his agility is just mad that I'm more, I think I'm more likely to be able to have more to work with when I'm shooting it a bit wider, um, which makes it harder when I'm kind of on my like zoom lens and stuff. Cause I've got to be super, super precise and super ready. Um, mm -hmm. But um, yeah, but I, I just love, I just love shooting stuff super wide anyway. What was this shot with? This was the 12 mil Samuel. Okay. Yeah. So this was the 12 this, mil because yeah, yeah. like I say, he, when I saw him, he will be running and suddenly in the air, you could lose him out of frame easily. 100%, yeah. <clears throat> Getting him in focus here had to be a nightmare. But when you're composing in here, what, what are you thinking about him in relation to the spotlight? You may not have known he was going to kick, but you mm. kind of knew the angle that you were at. What, yeah. what are you thinking as you're looking through a viewfinder? I think, I mean, with, with this one particular, this is, this is from, um, I don't think, yeah, it's from a song called King Charles, which is kind of like third or fourth song in the set. I assume in uh, this show, um, and there's like there's like a solo section where Adam's like ripping some mad solo, and and then Dom's like just going nuts, and and that's kind of always like a that's always a really cool moment for me to be able to capture for the show, um, and uh, and so I, I kind of know generally well I know the part of the song when it happens, and there's I I, I told someone the other day that I've got like. I've got like in my head, like a series of shots that I still haven't like got perfect yet. Um, of certain, of certain, whether it's like something that happens in every show, whether it's just the odd thing that it'll do like maybe once every now and then. Um, and that's what this, this is kind of one of them that I just, I just, I've done maybe like a hundred shows ish. No, maybe less than a hundred shows by this point last year. And I was like, I still haven't got this shot that I want yet. And it's very dependent on where he is, the timing of it, where I am, what the makeup of the venue is and how that is I can get around it, how many people are in the pit, like so many different things. Um, but what I, I remember like the feeling of when I clicked the shutter and I, and I knew when you think you've got the shot, like the yeah. money shot from the show. And I was like, clicked it. I was like, I think I got it. I think I got it. But I was like, I just, I just, I, would, I was too busy to like look and like try and think, is that it? I just had to wait until the end of the show. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that I think with this shot, the light just caught him in a in a way. I, had, I don't think I expected that to be there. Like I knew where he'd be, and I think in the moment I probably wasn't thinking, "Oh yeah, that spotlight's going to be like that, and it's going to be like this." I was just kind of like, "Go," um, and then it, the light just caught him really nicely there. Because um, that really the angle just makes it so. Being, you know, putting the general photographer hat on. Mm. You, you took this and you knew you had the money shot. In yeah. music photography to you, what's the money shot? What makes an amazing, because one of the things I've been thinking of a lot lately is, you know, photographers that want to get to your level or Adam's level, mm. they're critiquing their own work. And that's an art in and of itself, right? So for you, when you're looking at your own work, what makes a fantastic music shot? For for me, I think if if it like makes me feel something, if I'm like, if I'm like yes, or I think it's on it's such like a physical thing for me. I think where I'm just kind of like, you know, like in a film or like a movie to Americanize it. Um, the, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, we know what films are. It's okay. 
No, just making I'm sure. Probably. It could be 35 mil, could be 8 mil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, it's that, it's honestly that feeling of just like getting, being super jazzed off something. If, if it just like feels right, I think I'm quite like, I'm quite like an emotional photographer, I think. I'm kind of very much about like the feeling and and even like sometimes with like the raw, like obviously once you've edited stuff and like taken stuff out, mm-hmm. you can like really like get, and sometimes an edit, and I've done this before hundred percent, is that like an edit kind of like saves the photo. Yeah. Um, where ordinarily you'd probably just like, you'd, yeah, you you just like throw it in the trash. Um, but, but yeah, it's very much like the feeling and that this photo makes me feel something. There's like, then there's like those, that is like the money shot. I think it's for me is, is like the feeling of it. Um, and you're just like super gassed off it. And then that, I think that's what it is for me. It's not necessarily like technically the best like photo, um, but like something might be a little bit soft or whatever, or like your autofocus might have missed. But yeah, it's definitely like the feeling for me, I think. This and one's I kind of judge what I want. Yeah, it's it. I kind of think, yeah, it, it's pretty sharp, I think. Steve, give us, this always... one, give us 100% there, Steve. You got it? Give us a little zoom uh, in. Is it is it possible? Yeah. Let's see it. Oh, yeah, that's that's crispy. Yeah. And that was one of the things that surprised me on this one is this he's moving. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, I mean, moving. look at his hair. Yeah. Look at his foot. And yet his eyes are in focus. Yeah. You, yeah. you nailed this. And this is a raw image. This isn't edited. Yeah. This is Tom's raw image. Which, Tim, thank I'll you. say for fun. Thank you, Tom, for releasing it, by the way. This is that's quite all right. Respect no. to yeah. you. Respect yeah. to you. When when you see this come up on your computer screen, mm. and and because you made the comment, which struck me, that you know how some shots you end up going, oh, you know what, it's good. Yeah. Keep that one because I can save it. Right, I can yeah. make it a great shot. It may not be yet. Yeah, exactly. When you see an image like this on screen, what do you? And we're going to see you edit it shortly. But leading into that. Mm. Before you edit it, what are you thinking? Like when you first glance at it, are you thinking, okay, I'll crop to here, I'll do this? Do you have a do you have a pre visualization when you see a shot like this of what you're gonna do? Um, to an extent, yeah. I mean, I know I, because we had we kind of did twelve weeks of touring. I think in like the last half of last year, we did like a six week run in America and then do like a five week run in Europe and the UK. I like the light show. I knew the light show pretty well by kind of like the end of it, and it started to kind of build. I get, yeah, I mean, I've started to like build kind of base, like preset kind of stuff that I knew for different like lighting states and that kind of thing. Um, and like stylistically, I, I do a lot, I tend to lean on like the warmer side of stuff. And so I kind of have a bit of an idea and I have like about like 12 or so, maybe like slightly differing like preset kind of things um, that I know, that I know I kind of like and work with certain states. Um, which was one of like the most mental things about watching everyone's edits of this is that people go like a totally different direction and stuff. Let me, let me just ask you, I, I apologize for interrupting. No, 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 go, go ahead. Are they your presets that you created? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're all, it's all stuff that I've like built up since like working on this project. Um, so I kind of, I kind of know to an extent what I like be like, oh, this, this kind of looks like this. This is what tones are in this frame. Um, I'm going to try this. If it doesn't work, maybe like try something else. But, yeah, I think that I definitely on this one, I was probably thinking, I really wish that that floor package and that security guard were like another two meters to the right. Uh, I think it was probably one of my first thoughts on this. So in that sense, yeah, I'm looking, I'm kind of looking at the crop, but um, I mean, I, gen- I generally crop it for like landscape photos. I'll generally crop into four, three, hmm. um, which was partly, a, a kind of, it was a decision that I kind of made last year um, because there's, I think, for in certain areas, there's quite a lot of pressure to like format stuff for like social media and that kind of thing. Right. Um, and I'm I'm all for it to an extent, but there's certain photos that I wouldn't that I wouldn't like to do, do that with. Um, and it's actually very interesting. Like so many people did crop to like four or five vertical. Um, yeah. Which I just I honestly just never thought not thought of doing. And there was some absolutely amazing stuff, um, and it kind of to- makes you think totally differently about it. But like the the whole four three thing, I think was to because everyone wanted things in five, four vertical. I was like, I'm not going to do that for everything because not all of it works. But I, but also it's kind of like, I feel like it gives it a kind of bit of like a throwback kind of like uh, feeling to it instead of like the, the two, three. Um, 
So that kind of that, I, I generally do that with like all my landscapes. I'll crop to four three because it, help, it like help fills the screen up more on social media, but also I just feel like for me that that's how I want it to look. You mentioned the guy in the bottom right corner, so I, mm. I just I'm curious. You're not mm. shooting photojournalism. You're shooting social media and marketing shots for a brand. Essentially, yeah. Could you? Would you? They probably wouldn't care. Would you clone those? create your own light to continue the stage there and build your own set down there? Would you never do that? What would, what, what do you see your, your limits as? Uh, so I, this is an interesting one because I was looking at this and when, when I, when I was choosing which ones to send. I, I'm across, excited for this one too. I want to I'm, know. I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a big kind of believer in, uh, in like spot removal and that kind of thing for like, so there's like, you can see that like Adam's pedal board in the back is like glowing purple. But it's the thing in the original edit that I did, I looked back and I didn't get rid of it. And I didn't get rid of that bit of tape on the floor in the middle of the spot. And That's I didn't the get... first thing I noticed. It was the tape. Oh, yeah. it's infuriating looking at it now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm quite like a clean person. And so stuff like that really grinds my gears. Um, oh no, Steve, take it away. <laughs> Cursed. Um, but I, th I can't remember. I, I can't remember on the original edit whether I got rid of that. But I definitely didn't get rid of Adam's pedal board, and I definitely didn't get rid of well, the you were, floor package. Were you editing like, it way quicker? Like you were doing it for turnaround for like a next show. Thing, yeah, yeah, it yeah, wasn't, yeah. Like, it wasn't like yeah. what you're gonna do today. No, no, it was yeah. like it was. It was very much more like. Uh, but this is the thing. I was quite surprised at myself because normally I'd get rid of that. And so looking back, but maybe this maybe this is just something that's changed in the last kind of six months or so. But I would normally I'd normally get rid of that. I mean, it, it, honestly, it really depends on how much time I've got. It, like. Depends what our situation is after the show um, and what we've kind of got on the next day. Um, but yeah, I, I would normally get rid of all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Arguably, it's part of the show. I mean, arguably, exactly. it's part of the story is a better way to word it. Exactly. Lightboard in the back, the guy on the right. I mean, arguably, that's part of what you're telling because you can see other tape on the ground. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I'm like, I don't, I don't go too hard on the kind of like imperfections and stuff. If something's there, it's there basically and it's never you're never going to be able to you're never going to be able to get like the perfect image because whatever you right. do how, how good you, like your photoshop skills are and that kind of thing it's you can make you can maybe always tell i mean there's, there's some people do it very 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 well um but for me i'm just like i'm kind of a bit 50 50 on i don't care that that's there or oh, i've really got the worst one for me is mic stands i have a constant battle with our front of house and monitor engineer and it's like a running joke, half joking, half not, that I am like, I'm livid. I get a great photo of Mikey, our drummer, and there's just these like overheads that are just like pointing down. I'm like, oh no, I gotta get rid of that. I feel like the audio is a really integral part of a good live show. I'm just putting that out there, Tom. I, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> this is the thing. This is the thing I've spoken to, because I, I come from a sound background. I, oh. I come to I was just giving you, you a hard do? time. For the record, I was giving yeah. you a hard time. No, 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 no. I know. I got it. It's cool. I have, yeah. I, I did a sound degree at university. Oh, um, congrats! That's awesome. So I kind of like. So I kind of like get it and like respect the. When art, you say sound degree, yeah. Elaborate. You mean did, you you got sound reinforcement? I I studied I studied sound technology at university. Yeah. So I did studio, live, theater, bit of post production kind of stuff. Um, you so know, I did that. You, I did, you know a lot of things. I mean, you think I know a lot of things. And then someone asked me, Adam was recording in his room next door. And he was like, yo, can you like sort this beat out? It's like, not like, I can't like get it like in time and stuff. And I was like, oh God, go flip through the filing cabinet three years ago. And we're here. Yeah. Um, but it's, but this is the thing. It, it having, I feel like having that kind of background helps me like appreciate what it is. So I always have this battle. I'm like, can you not just mic them from underneath? And they're like, no, it doesn't sound as good. I'm like, ah, oh, okay, fine. I get it. It's fine. Um, <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, you're right, Adam. Audio is a very, very important part of the live show. Mm -hmm. Well, you I, ready for an edit, Adam? Dude, I'm ready to see you edit. Are you? Oh. Let's throw the screen share on here and let's get this cool. situated. Right. Uh, Let me screen share with you now. Let's do this. So, Desktop. Tom is going to edit for us. And we've got his Lightroom here. And if you want, like, we've got your, if you want, you can close your kind of. Um, that one? You can close your presets if you want to make it that full screen, and I can cool. get rid Five. of yeah, yeah. And I would just shut the yeah, that's perfect. Cool. And then just so everybody knows, so he's gonna edit it for us now. If you didn't get a chance, you can still download this image if you want a chance to edit it yourself. Um, I would say like Tom, let's start with going over like 
let's pretend it's not a show day. Let's pretend you're you're editing this for your portfolio. You've got unlimited cool. time. You want to make it look the best representation of what you would say your own work is. Love it. Um, when you bring this in and you look at the image, what do you think about before you edit the image? Like, what are you like, okay, what are the things I need to kind of, like, what goes through your head? I'm thinking, I think probably the first thing I think is what do I want, what do I want the focus to be? Obviously, it's, it's generally going to be the artist. Um, mm -hmm. But, it put like like what what part of him is going to be the focus um how how do i want to crop so i guess crop's probably one of the first things that i think of so you, you figure um, out like the big picture like the placement how you're gonna yeah. like what your goal is yeah composition Abs yeah absolutely composition that's the word the that's the word <laughs> here <laughs> to help see. this guy knows stuff this, this guy knows how to edit <laughs> yeah photos. this guy knows photography anyway continue i'm a fraud <laughs> um uh, yeah, so composition definitely is like is like the first thing that I kind of go to, um, and so I'll probably go with the crop first. As I was saying, I'll go to four three. Um, well, I've never seen somebody use what's this? What's this called again, Steve? What's the so this is golden ratio, right? Yeah, golden ratio, uh, golden spiral. I don't know why golden I asked spiral. Steve. I just knew he would do it a hundred percent, but I don't know. Oh, what but I but you know, it's interesting that he put that up there. Yeah, bring that that golden ratio up again. Yeah, it's like, yeah. look how it fits. It's perfect. Right. Uh, yeah. It's, and it's for those not, people yeah. who don't know how to change the crop overlay, explain the key that you just hit. So it's, uh, you kind of have the normal. I'm taking notes, overlay, baby. Let's take some guess, notes. Which I guess is learn. this. Yeah. So this is what you normally have. Um, and if you press, I'm on a Mac. So if you press command O, as in like the letter O, um, you can like circ like cycle through like all these different kind of jazzy bits. Um, that one right there is a, a one that I, What's that one called? Often. What's that one called? Yeah, I've never used that. What I, is that. I don't know the name of it, but again, notice how it ties everything in. Four yeah. triangles. To the geometry of a shot. It's awesome. It yeah. actually works quite well with that one. I didn't even, I didn't yeah. even look at that. But that goes to show how you shoot, though. That's that's yeah. what I mean. You ca tend to capture the right thing. <laughs> Fortunately. It's, uh, yeah, this this one is, I think I started looking into this a while ago, I think. I can't remember how I came up. I, I'm just like a big YouTube video watcher kind of thing. Um, You're human. Like, We're all, well, yeah. Yeah, I'm a human. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a human in quarantine. Um, but I think, yeah, I think I must, this must have come up on a YouTube video or something ages ago about, and it was really intriguing, kind of the golden ratio, because it's based on maths and it's and it's based on like the Fibonacci sequence, I think, if that's right, Steve. Exactly. Um, and 100%. like math yep. mathematically, this is I can't I can't I don't know the technical aspects of it, but basically this is how like something how leading lines can kind of help compose a shot. And there's some like it goes so far back into like architecture and art and all that kind of thing. Um, the master painters, exactly, exactly, all that jazz. Um, and so and then I saw that you could do it on Lightroom and you like change your overlays and stuff. I was like, oh, that's amazing. That's like, it's, it's, it's so kind of like pleasing to the eye. Um, if you can kind of crop something like that. Um, yeah, so this is so this is the four three now. So I probably would go somewhere. See, this is this is totally different to how I did how I edited the actual photo, I think. Yo, we're in Lightroom for anybody asking. Yes. This, this is not Visco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I think yeah, that's kind of how I that's kind of how I'd start. I think, um, but yeah, like there, I think there's some like mad overlays and stuff in Lightroom that really help you out actually. Um, mm -hmm. I tend to use this one quite a lot. I'm quite I'm quite into the whole golden ratio idea. I was gonna get it tattooed on me a while ago, um, but uh, and I thought there's no use being on my ribs. It's better to have it in Lightroom, so it's fine. I love um, that, I love that you guys call it maths, maths and university. Those things maths, aren't said in the maths US. Maths university, so. yeah. yeah, college yeah <laughs> college 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 <laughs> um, keep going you're good man yeah so yeah so uh then i kind of guess i decided what what end of like the temperature kind of spectrum i'm gonna go for i tend to i tend to shoot a lot of stuff like well edit a lot of stuff like fairly warm um i think partly because of kind of the live show and um and just kind of well how how it feels to me. I like, I like warm photos. I like cold photos as well, but I think for stylistically for me, I, I kind of like it on the warm end of the spectrum. Um, so I kind of play about the white balance kind of a fair bit um, and generally go for like the warmer tones and that kind of thing. Um, Ooh, I feel like I'm at a sunny beach. I like good. Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah. Love it. Good also, vibes. This is, this is something that I use a, a hell of a lot is uh, in a camera calibration window, kind of the shadow tint. Yeah. Um, 
and I think I was saying earlier, I can like I pull a lot of inspiration from kind of like super old, like filmy, um, filmy kind of photography um, for live music. And so adding like kind of greens and stuff in the shadows, I think kind of helps just kind of as a bit of a base to kind of get going, helps kind of give it that filmy kind of vibe as opposed to like the, the more magenta ends of the spectrum. Um, so that's kind of like a good base of what I normally do. Um, and then I'll probably jump straight to curve. I think curve's probably one of the most important things for me um, when I'm editing. Um, Cause you, you can just literally just pull like so much different kind of information and get so many kind of different looks with it. Um, and kind of similarly to like the whole filmic inspired thing, I'll generally bring the blacks up. Okay. A touch there. Um, generally, generally speaking, I sometimes I go super, super, super high contrast and like want to crush the blacks into infinity. But on this, I feel like it will probably stick it around here. Yeah. This, this, with the curves and stuff as well, it's very much more like, it's kind of like, again, a feeling kind of thing. Um, and yeah, in terms of like the highlights and the whites and kind of stuff, because of like the gradient, I, I do remember this part specifically, actually, because of the kind of the gradient that you get on the, uh, from the lighting fixture, you got like super, super intense white, and then it kind of fades out. Um, it's quite, I kind of try and keep that as like smooth as possible, um, as opposed to like super, super high contrasty, because then you end up, I try and try and keep it as like kind of natural as possible, I guess. Um, just to kind of like, so you can keep the detail in there. I think that's one of the, that's quite, quite like a tricky thing um, when you're using the curves and stuff with kind of when the lighting's like this is that you can, you can really easily like kind of look like that. And I'm not such a fan of it. Um, so stuff like this, I'll try and keep it like as, as kind of like real looking as possible um, with like a nice little kind of S curve in to give it kind of the contrast. And I, I just think you raise the blacks before doing the S curve. That's a, mm. it's actually a really nice effect on this shot. Mm. It's yeah. I like, I, I think that's, this is probably one of the most important things for me in terms of like curvature and that kind of thing. Yeah. That looks, um, that looks, I just love the shadows and highlights in this. Like you could crush and color and do whatever you want. Like I think the yeah. shot just is so it's exactly what I want in a live photo. And I'm so happy you picked this one out of all these photos. Yeah. I think this <laughs> is like you. such a fun shot to edit. You yeah, could make this shot into fun. ice cream even if you wanted. Yeah, you could definitely. Nice, nice. We love it. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna spark the comments going again, Steve. It's gonna be a yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> that is quite all right. Um, yeah, so this is a this is a pretty good base. I'm pretty happy with kind of how we're going um, at the moment. Um, and then I'll kind of I'll go back up to kind of the basic window again at this point. Um, I generally, I generally don't kind of flip between like color and black and white as I'm doing it. I okay. kind of like tend to edit stuff in color and then maybe do kind of like a black and white version. I like to kind of, I like to kind of have the option to do it. But if I'm, I'm quite like, if I'm focusing on something, I want to do this and then kind of do something else. I don't like kind of bouncing around between stuff. Cause I kind of forget. Do you process. start over or do you do a virtual copy? I'll do virtual copy. Yeah. And then love a virtual black copy. Oh, we stand virtual. It's copy. the best thing. Yes. We, the we greatest stand. invention. Yeah. It's oh so God. good. Yeah, it took, it took me ages and ages to realize that that was the thing. Oh, look at all those ice cream emojis. In yeah, the sorry. <laughs> There's ice cream Steve, emojis? Steve, what are you doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> Steve, dude. Yeah. Oh, no, they're out in force. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, uh, but then, yeah, so back going back into the basic window and stuff, um, I kind of like, this is this is a lot kind of around the, like, the feeling and what I kind of want to bring out. Generally, I'll kind of get to this a bit later on, but I'll do kind of like... Uh, like kind of spot kind of treatment stuff, like bring out bring out highlights and kind of certain certain bits of like the body and that kind of thing. Um, but I like I play around with like the whites and the highlights quite a lot. Um, it just to like get this is kind of like affecting kind of the gradient of the of the light fixture, like that beam. Um, so I'm just gonna pull that down a little bit more, give it some nice kind of strong filmy kind of vibes. And then yeah, in this presence window, this is a, this is a big thing. I use these a lot. Um, I, I think it kind of like, it kind of brings maybe kind of the raw element that you were talking about, Adam, out a touch more. Because um, the te texture is something that, it's like a relatively new addition, that, right? That's yeah. Yeah. Textures in the last two versions or yeah. even one. D. Yeah. Hayes is like last few years, right? D. Hayes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah D. Hayes has been there a while. Yeah. Um, which generally, so well, it depends. It depends. Depends how, depends how like much haze there is during the show. Um, a lot of the times, a lot of the times I used it most was kind of like at festivals and stuff. 
because uh, when you've kind of got like local crew and that kind of thing, I've experienced some slightly overzealous uh, stage uh, stage crew that I kind of love a smoke machine and that kind of thing. So festivals and stuff. You can still kind of see the artist. More fuck. We need yeah. more fuck. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. Back makes... away from the hazer, please. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> I've had like dehaze on like a hundred and my curve is yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like that and I can still Dude, can't even see his face. It's not... I love it though. It's like... When somebody hazes out the, when somebody hazes it out and I can't see anything and just the artists come through, I'm like, keep me in here. This is like, get, this I mean, the thing. Yeah. sorry, carry on. What were you saying? Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Um, it's just like, because this is the thing. Sometimes you can create some like amazing stuff. I was just, there's a shot from where was it? I can't remember. There was, a, but like the whole entire back of the stage like totally hazed out, and there's this beam that just kind of caught. That I was kind of like I was blocking the beam with his head essentially, yeah. and so like it was it was it was something that I would never normally get. It did was you, just like it was like there was a total screen just behind him. There was no did, one else there. Did you post it somewhere? Yeah, I did. Is it on your Instagram? Because we'll have one yeah. of our mods can one of our moderators will go find it on your Instagram. It was a, yeah, it was a while ago. It's kind of like a it's like kind of like a mid shot up, and it's right, like cool. it's fairly blue. Um, Connor or Justin? It. Oh, you found it. Was, it. October, October 20, 30th of October, 2019. You guys want to throw that link in the chat, then everybody can check it out. Um, they'll, they'll find yeah. it. You don't have to do it. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so that, that's a way that, I mean, that, yeah, that's kind of an example of when there was super, super haze, but actually came out looking pretty rad. Um, so yeah, the haze is your friend the majority of the time. Is yes. the moral of that story. Agreed. Um, massively agreed. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, this is kind of let's kind of run with this in terms of exposure and contrast and that kind of thing i might come back and change i'm like constantly changing stuff all the way through as well um yeah but as i was saying clarity is like clarity is like a big one for me i think it it really kind of like brings out um some really nice details in it like that kind of massive thing of spit that's coming out of his mouth right yes it's stuff like that that um that i might kind of not notice without that it really brings out some nice details um and I've been hit by that spit a lot as well. And so I feel like it deserves to be in there. And a similar kind of thing with the texture as well. It like it kind of gives it that kind of raw nature. I'm gonna I'm gonna grain the hell out of this as well later. Um, which kind of does it kind of does a similar thing. Um, I kind of don't I kind of don't dabble with these too much unless I like really need to, unless I'm really trying to like save, save kind of an image. Um, if there's like a lot of reds and pinks and stuff in uh in in the, like the lighting state that i kind of need to help pull out i'll use like the red and the blue and green curves and i think kind of i think you use clarity really well and somebody mentioned like the other photographers kind of hated on it and i think it's important to like differentiate like it's all in good fun like we don't yeah. actually hate it and the cool thing about <laughs> right, photography right. is everybody has their own lane and yeah. everybody enjoys it in their own way it's everybody's they everybody has their own language so mm. clarity some people use it some people don't so it's cool yeah. to see you use it nicely Mm, and and you. the way I look at it, they're all tools, right? So yeah. I, I do use some clarity and I do use some dehaze and texture. Mm. I do a lot of brushing it now and then. So I do localized instead of global a lot of times. Mm. But it, all it is is a contrast tool. It's a mid-range yeah. edge contrast. So if mm. used right, it can be good. Yeah, and exactly. And this, this is the kind of thing, I, I, I use this a lot for like my live stuff, but the more editorial kind of work. Um, I, a lot of the times I tend to go like the other way. I like go into minors and kind of help. Um, I like sharpen and then bring the clarity down to kind of give it a kind of like softer look mm -hmm. um, depending on what we're going for. But live that like clarity is like my best friend. I like, it's very rare that I won't put that on, on a live shot. I think. I love, I love the people that are here and don't do photography at all. They're just here because they like you and they're like, I don't well, understand. Nice. Hi, I don't guys. understand anything. This is just cool. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you don't have to understand it to enjoy it, guys. It's cool. Yeah. Anybody can be a photographer. So I hope you learn a few things today. Absolutely. By uh, the way, you... while you're editing this, can I ask you an unrelated yeah. question? Always. Uh, again, I'm browsing through your feed on Instagram. Mm. The black and white of him upside down on a pure white background, uh, background is borderline genius shot. Ah, I think I know the one you're talking about. What? It... It's yeah. from Czech Republic, from Prague. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Was he upside down? Was that just an edit? No, I wish. I really wish. No, unfortunately, that wasn't upside down. Um, I can't, I honestly can't even remember how that. What made you started. think? 
I don't know. I think I'd been on tour for a while and I, I was maybe going slightly crazy. Um, and I, th- I think I was kind of looking just to edit stuff in a different way. I think it's how I kind of keep myself, like I was saying, I'm like, I'm never bored, but there's, there comes a point, I think, where if you've been touring for quite a long time mm-hmm. that you kind of need something to spice it up a bit. Um, for you, uh, something for, for yeah, you. For me, yeah, something for me. Yeah. To- totally like, totally like personal creative kind of thing. I got to um, tell you, it is it, hands down already. And I just found it. One of my favorite live music shots of all time. I love wow, thank you. that shot. I apologize interrupting you. Go back no, to your all right. Quite wow. all right. No, Steve with the compliments. Let's go. Wow. Come on, Steve. Bring I was it. looking at it. Yeah. Did you go find it? Yeah, I would have found it. It's cool. I dig it. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. I, sadly, we haven't, we haven't, <laughs> I don't know how he'd actually do that hung upside down whilst playing the guitar, but we can, we can pretend like it was. If you're upside I'm, down and he's standing right side up, technically he's upside down. So you could do it that way. Nice. Uh, maybe I should hang upside down instead. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So just do it, yeah. do it at your do it at your place. Get a really bouncy bed. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a low. I need a low hanging bed of trust. You guys know. are laughing at me like I'm not serious. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's next week's challenge. Yeah. Yeah. You can take the best upside down photo. Um. Yeah. So yeah, saturation environment. This is a yeah. This is this is a weird. I don't know whether this is the norm or not. Because I don't, I tend not to compare editing techniques too much to other people. But I like bringing the saturation down, the vibrance up. I don't really know why, but again, it's just like one of those feeling kind of things. That I'm just like, uh, yeah, this 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 feels right. Um, so I'm probably gonna leave it about there. I don't, I tend not to go like too crazy saturated on my live stuff. Um, again, kind of harking back to the whole like filmy kind of vibe thing. Um, and then, yeah, and then I kind of get start to look at the HSL and that kind of thing. I could tend to do it in a very kind of like orderly fashion, I guess. Um, like I'll get the bass going and then um, I'll kind of see if there's anything that I don't really like. I can see there's like a bit of, there's a bit of blue kind of like fringing on here. So I'll probably pull that out. It just feels like. Get rid of that blue fringe. Get it out of here. <laughs> get Yeah, get out of here. The blue fringe. Uh, it's more, it's more accurate. Isn't a fringe so, yeah. what you guys call bangs? Bangs, yeah. Yeah. You call yeah. bangs fringe? Yeah. yeah, it's the fringe. It's like the fringe of your hair, which yeah. I think makes more sense. Yeah. Or not. Or, I mean, or not. It's hey, the man. The right way. It's culture, man. It's different. It's, it's culture. Yeah, I think it it's is. cool. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, Sorry. The fr- the fringe. Sorry That's about fun. sidetracking you so much here. I just, no, I'm having a great do. time with you. So. Please do. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Um, yeah, so I'll kind of just play around with these quite a lot um, and then get something that feels kind of smooth. At this point, I think, this yeah the pedal board's starting to really annoy me so i think it kind of gets this point where i'm starting to be a little bit more nitpicky let's get rid of it let's just get rid of that that's got to go add, Sorry, a, add another one <laughs> on the other <laughs> add side another double pedal <laughs> double pedal board or just up here on the drum <laughs> yeah 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 put a pedal, I mean, I, put a pedal board on it <laughs> <laughs> i think i mean the, i mean this has got to go this has got to go i'm so sorry steve that's just got to go that's doing my head in um, now this, yeah, this is the slightly trickier bit about about the job on this photo. It's like the it's these lights down here. I think. See, this is the thing. I, I'll totally. I'm, I say I'll, I'm going to do one thing. Oh, those lights are fans. Do it all the way through, but like they're, they're lights. They're oh, lights. I thought like, they were fans too. No, no, we had like a we had the like fans a are, They're on the other side of the barricade. I think. Yes, I think they might be being quite loud. Probably. I assume. <laughs> um, yeah. So this this is part of the this is part of the lighting package. So these were kind of there for every show. Um, so this is quite, yeah, this was, this was a little bit of a task trying to kind of like dodge around them quite a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, and this, I mean, it depends how good your, your spot healing skills are on Lightroom. I, I, I normally have a go at it in Lightroom and then, uh, I'll let's just do it. Let's just see how it works. Let's, let's like, do it. Let's do it live. But would, you, might, would you take it into Photoshop if, if you oh, really yeah. wanted a gun? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Probably. That's what I would do. Other way. Yeah. You got this. Yeah. It's, this is um, no no pressure. Welcome to welcome to Tom's first Lightroom. Um, hit, yeah, so I, I normally yeah I probably it, would hit, put it into a, hit clone up top right hit clone hit instead clone. of heel yeah clone instead of heel yeah there you go oh, oh well, yeah there you go oh there. well there you go it might not really come together though but it's it's yeah, yeah but it, then you can always dodge and burn over it to try and match it better yeah, yeah. yeah. and then you'll be done by three a.m. and Dom will be really happy when you turn exactly <laughs> like Tom where are the photos from four days ago like, dude I'm still, get a real light dude I'm cloning yeah clone 
You can't rush the clone. You yeah. can't. You really can't rush the clone. Yeah. And sometimes, I mean, th- this movie makes him look like he's got an exceptionally long leg. But we'll see how we go. Yeah, this is the thing. No, I'm. I'm you could make his silhouette an ice cream cone easily. Oh, I might start doing that and see if anyone yeah, knows it. Yeah, just start making a little like, like, like just sprinkle it in. Yeah, add some sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why yeah. not? At least yeah. right with this though, you are getting the idea of if it's worth taking it into Photoshop yeah. before you do. Yeah, exactly. So I'll I'll generally try. It out. I won't unless unless I'm so certain that I'm not going to be able to do it in this. I'll probably just be like, I'll probably just like, uh, I'll probably just throw it in straight away. Yeah, dude, it's so hard to do that shit in or that stuff in a Lightroom. Like I would not. Yeah, like, dude, it's really hard. Like I'm sorry to make you do it live. I just thought it would be fun. That's no, that's yeah. quite all right. Just watch him sweat. Yeah. Yeah, man, but you can't do something that none of us can do. <laughs> <laughs> I like the challenge. Yeah. Maybe that should be a role. But I like the I like the everything. You can see the goal now and I like the goal. Yeah. Yeah. You just add a you just add like a freaking gradient or like a vignette over there and do exactly. it with the I'm, line, yeah. I'm a big advocate for the vignette as well. Oh, let's see it. it. Vignette it up. Let's go. This is probably yeah, this is kind of the point where I'd bring it in. Yeah. Do you I ever think- do lens correction? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I on mean, all shots or picky choosing. Um, it depends, I think, because because <laughs> I I do something a little bit naughty. I don't a lot of the time when I'm shooting with that. Um, when I'm shooting with like the twelve mil Samyang. Um, like it's like man, the manual focus one is like it's meant for APS-C bodies, but I, sometimes I won't crop in just to get kind of a super wide thing. Mm. Um, and I'm cro- I generally cropped to four or three, as I was saying anyway, so I can like get rid of a lot. Because basically it ends up with like, there's like a black kind of ring outside. Um, and a lot of the time- You can get away I'll with crop- that with your style. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, for sure. Exactly, yeah. And like fortunately, like in th- this, I, I, I punched in. Um, so it doesn't have that. But if, with this, if it was to be on this kind of shot, especially, there's a lot of like shadow and a lot of darkness around the edges anyway. So you can right. kind of get away with it. Um, and especially when we were, when I first started working with Dom, we were doing like slightly smaller venues and it was just like, it, and like the, the kind of distortion that you get, because he loves getting like super up close, like in my face and vice versa. Um, you like the kind of distortion that you get off that is like sick. And I think it's so exciting. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll try, I'll try out the lens corrections. Um, I tend to use it more. See, this is the thing, because it doesn't even know which lens it is. It's this one. Um, yeah, dude. I think I had to ask you because uh, my Lightroom was like, we don't know yeah. anything about this photo. Yeah, I went. I yeah, Adam asked me what because he couldn't find like the exit data, and I was like, actually, there isn't any. It's <laughs> it was like, yeah, I think it's f two. I think it's like the lowest this one goes. Um, but yeah, I'll 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 kind of use lens corrections on and off. Um, some of the time I'll go into like manual and start and start playing around with, like a distortion as well. Um, depending on how I've framed it, or if I want to kind of do something a little bit more wacky with it. But yeah, I, I would. It's a bit hit and miss whether I use lens corrections, to be honest. Um, sometimes I like it. Sometimes I'm like, nah, I prefer it. Um, I just love how you're you're making your art, right? It's mm. not just the capture. You're you're following it up and you're editing in 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 your own voice, which I I dig. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I I like to think that I kind of this is the thing. I kind of like I've never had like lessons and that kind of thing. So everything's either like from Peter McKinnon's YouTube tutorials, or I've just like learned along the way or actually adam's uh, those of those a vlog that adam did years and years oh, ago sick are you ready for this this <laughs> is a one is i haven't told you this yet it's the one where you flew somewhere to shoot a day to remember oh the, oh the one with the alligators maybe i feel like they were maybe in like they were like safari outfits they might it might have been that actually yeah and there was another one where you did i think it was might have been pierce the veil and sleeping with sirens together by like oh yeah the, the award movie? show maybe yeah, those are, um, those happened. At yeah, some point. those those are deep cuts. Well, I'm glad I could be Adam part of your YouTube. part of your journey. Well, thank you, thank yeah. you for putting it out into the world. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do the, I do this a lot as well. See, this is okay. This isn't from the actual role, but that's that's fine. Um, yeah, but I'll I'll go do a before and after quite a lot, and sometimes I like prefer how it looked before, and then I'll kind of start all over again. Um, but um, yeah, so that's kind of got rid of that's kind of got rid of that floor package a little bit, which is kind of nice. I might go later and do target it with, with the brushes and the gradients and that kind of thing. Um, and that's my favorite for, bit. Real Sorry, quick, for people who don't know, floor package is just his way of referring to everything yeah. on the floor that has to make be there to make the show happen. 
there you go yeah Thank anyway you keep fun. going um yeah no this, this is my favorite bit i love split toning split toning is the best yeah it's like i i yeah there's i think my my style is very stylized forgive me if you even say word twice is that yeah they're pretty they're pretty heavily edited i think i just want to bring like the energy and i want to if i can make if i can make someone else feel like they were at the show or if i can make someone who was at the show feel like they're there again by looking at it then i've done my job right i think right. um so i like i love split toning even though it's not necessarily like totally realistic to what the show was this is how this is how i enjoy it kind of um and yeah as i was saying i like, love like the warmer tones i think on this one on the original i kind of went for pretty is the thing is saturation on these is pretty high up like i'm altering the colors quite a lot um just in this panel I think, if I remember correctly, I mean that's that. This is the this is the original edit that I did. It looks far different than this, but whatever. Um, yeah, <laughs> I like, I like. <laughs> this looks totally different, but whatever. Um, yeah, I really like a lot of reds. Kind of when when the shadows are kind of dark as as they are, I love bringing out a little bit of red. I love bringing out a little bit of the green. Um, and I just literally this one, this one again is just totally totally like the like how it feels to me. If uh, I'm kind of erring towards this kind of palette at the moment now nice. you're getting... zoomed out on this right now is that yeah. how you edit normally no oh, no not all the time for this yeah so when i'm doing kind of split turning and stuff i like to Back sometimes up. i feel like I, yeah i feel like i feel like this even though oh sorry come on. Okay, i can't find the midway but um but it, when it kind of like fills and goes right to the edges here i don't feel like i can see it all even though it's all in there right i don't feel like i can see it um and so I'll like flip this between like medium gray and dark gray, and sorry, medium gray and white as well. Cause this is how it's going to be viewed if you put it on Instagram. Uh, and you've got, this is kind of how it's going to be viewed on, cause I'm on dark mode on my phone. Same here. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's that kind of thing. I'm, I kind of had to start taking that into account a bit when I started to edit things. Cause it totally, it totally alters how it's oh, like, yeah. that, um, do you remember the dress thing? But like, is it blue and black or is it like gold and white or something? Do you remember that? Oh yeah. That broke the internet. It's like, for me, it's like, it kind of reminds me of that because your, <laughs> eye, your eye acts differently depending on what something's surrounded by, I think, or it's how your like, or it's how your brain like perceives color. Um, so I think it's always good to check and like kind of cycle through these. Maybe not, I don't really go to the black, but kind of these three. Um, Cause this, yeah, this is light mode. Obviously this is what be dark mode on your phone. Cause that's where most people are going to be viewing these photos. Um, or if they, yeah, if they're going into an article or something, a review from the show for whatever reason, it'll probably be on white. So yeah, um, I like to cycle through those quite a lot and just check that everything's looking fine. Um, I'm kind of jazzed on this for the color. Maybe go a little bit less intense. Yo, Tom, uh, what's going on hello. with the orange juice, apple juice thing? Is that something else we need to know about? Orange juice, apple juice. What is going on here? They just want to know if you like orange juice or apple juice more, but it's been like a pretty prominent overtaking of chat for the past 10 <laughs> minutes. So uh, I mean, at the moment, I'm on a bit of an orange juice hype. All right, there we go. Because we don't have any apple juice. So he's, let's he's get a tr spoken. Tropicana. There we go. If you want the yeah, best orange funny. juice, it's Evolution Orange Juice. They sell it at Starbucks. I think Evolution orange juice, I yeah. don't drink juice unless it's fresh squeezed. I just think it's all well, I hate it. Really? I just no, feel I'm like it. I just feel like I'm, I mean I like it. Like don't get me wrong, but I feel like I just get like this. I'm like, uh, like just I'm like super power. It. It's like yeah. so much sugar to the brain. But you get, you get some pretty some pretty uh, non non kind of non natural sugars in there. I think yeah. yes. times, so I don't blame you. I don't, I don't blame you at all. All right. Um, pulp, or pulp or no pulp? <laughs> pulp, pulp or no pulp? I'm, I'm, I'm a pulp guy. Straw, no straw. What about ice cubes? Yeah. How do you feel about them? Do you put them I, in ice it? Ice cubes, always, what, always, what's... always ice cubes. You've got, you can't have a drink without ice cubes in it. You can't. <laughs> and straw, if it's a metal reusable one, is the answer to that question. Oh yeah, we got plastic ones that are um, not plastic. They say plasticless. I think they're made out of potatoes. Plasticless. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. That sounds awful. <laughs> hey, they, they work. <laughs> the liquid gets from there to there. So you're good. Or, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, as we were kind of discussing just before the stream went live, weren't we? That uh, it's pretty, it's pretty crisp. This one, there's like a little bit, I'm noticing like a lot of kind of nasty kind of artifact kind of stuff there. So I'm like, just take a text, you down a touch. Um, generally, I once, I once, I once watched a video and someone was basically like, every photo needs sharpening. Like yeah. every photo um 
and so generally I will sharpen most stuff because um, I think sometimes you have to allow for certain social media platforms to like crush the quality of it um, yes. totally randomly. So mm -hmm. sometimes I'll try and like overcompensate. It's the same when I'm doing video stuff. Like when the difference between what the video is looking like on my screen to the export mm -hmm. can sometimes be like way different, which yeah. is a real problem. Um, so sometimes I'll try and like compensate, um, compensate for that in terms of sharpening. Um, but yeah, I try not to go too hard. Um, and I think I might just tickle the noise reduction in there just a little, just cause I've brought up. Real, I'm going to say real fast, you guys, you don't have to screen record anything. All this will go up later and you can clip stuff. So if you see at the bottom of your thing, you can press clip and you can select a part of the stream and it will save that clip and you'll have a link to it. So you can clip anything that happens. So just so you know, you don't have to screen record this. Um, it's, oh, wow. it's Twitch. Yeah. It's all, it's all forever. Just say Which it. Is legit. Don't say it now, or you'll deny it for the rest of eternity. <laughs> Continue with your edit. Sorry, you can sharpen. Quite all right. Quite all right. <laughs> Feel free to interrupt whenever. Um, yeah. Honestly, the day that I discovered what sharpening masking was, was oh yeah, it changed my life forever. Mm -hmm. So for those for those of you that don't know, I'm just gonna explain it really I think quickly. You can, so, you can hit a hotkey too, right? Anyway, keep going. Can you? Yeah, the oh, option key. Option. It'll oh, show. It'll sh hit it and then slide it. If you hold option as you drag the oh, mask, oh yeah, I tell you, you'll see what's being affected. Oh yeah, that's oh, <laughs> that's the face of a new effect. Yeah. Boom. So black is not affected. Oh. White is affected, right? Yeah, it's a mask, just wow. like Photoshop. Yeah. I am learning today. Yeah. That is nuts. I didn't. You're kidding. Know. You didn't know that? No, I no. I hey, know. don't make him feel bad about not knowing. No, things. no, no. It's not making about, him feel bad. I I'm about, not making him feel bad. I'm asking a question. <laughs> uh, you're right. You're right. Uh, I crazy. didn't. I didn't know oh, about wow. a few things he did today too. So we're all learning here, guys. It's pretty. We're normal. all learning. Yeah, here. it's pretty normal. Isn't that an awesome? You will. You will. Your masking will change forever now because of yes. that. Steve, you've just changed my life, my And you know it's required in LA. So. Ah oh, yeah. Ah oh, wow! Look at that. That's crazy. Isn't that it's wild? Sick. That is so wild, actually. It works yeah. with sharpening too, by the way. Yeah, get out of town. Ah. Oh. No. oh wow! That is nuts. This guy light rooms. That's crazy. Isn't that awesome? I literally, literally had no idea. That's amazing. I'm gonna go back and re-edit everything I've ever done, but do like the masking like correctly now. And we're gonna I'm gonna tell the chat real fast. So masking There is no correctly. Masking is a term that's used in Photoshop and Lightroom. And basically a mask is a black and white mask and everything in between. And black represents areas that are not being affected by whatever you have on that layer or that effect. And white represents areas where it is being affecting. So he's using masking right now and it's finding areas of the photo that basically don't have um, high areas of contrast or edges, and it's removing those, and it's keeping ones with certain levels. So he's adjusting kind of a threshold. So it's basically a way to mask or get rid of certain things and other things based on a parameter or not. So that's kind of what he's doing, and that's what he was showing you with that black and white. Exactly, exactly. So anyway. that's, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gas. My head's gone. That's just crazy. <laughs> that's absolutely mental. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'll I'll generally bump the sharpening up, sharpening up just a little bit, and now I'm always going to be pressing option. Wow, look at that option masking. That is absolutely Did, nuts. Sometimes I forget which keys do stuff, and I just find a thing and I press every key, and I'm like, okay, what is it? Which one mod? <laughs> is this it? Is this it? I don't know. I don't know. My favorite uh, one I learned this year. Do you know Command One Two Three Four Five Six Seven Eight Nine like jumps you to different things and collapses them? So yep. if you, I didn't know that. I've done that by accident, but I didn't. Know, I didn't know what I'd press. Dude, so now I navigate with command so I can like jump to each Lightroom panel without having to click, and it's so great. My so problem is I can never remember which panel is which. You've got to do it more, Steve. That's it. That's nuts. Yeah. It's yeah. like oh, riding a wow. bike. I love oh. the color you've got going on here. I, I see this as an album cover. I lo hey. I love it. I yeah. love that you said that. Thank yeah, you. dude. Yeah. Should we say, just turn it, take your headphones out and we'll turn it on, turn it real loud and we'll say it. And then whoever else is in the house will know. <laughs> Whoever it might be. Then. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah. Boy, the boys downstairs. Yeah. <clears throat> Give us another live album. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So we kind of cover lens correction, we cover transform. Dude, if you're, uh, doing, just, just do it till you're done. Whatever else you need to do. Fine. You're no, no pressure. Love the, love the vignette. Love the vignette. Midpoint. Maybe we'll pull that out. I mean, I'm just kind of just trying to cover the bottom right hand corner with this a touch. I'll maybe go back to that in a sec. I've never had like anyone like film me while I'm editing before. And I can just feel like the face that I'm pulling is absolutely outrageous. It's okay, man. You look good. 
Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's my favorite bit. Semi favorite bit. The grain. I love oh, grain yeah. more than anything else. It's yes. like, yeah, I love kind of making stuff look dirtier than it normally would. And not in like a, not in like a, oh, he hasn't cleaned his lens kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you but, ever noise reduce and then add your own grain or do you? Yeah, leave? yeah. Okay. Because it's a different look. <sighs> yeah, it is. It, it gives a very just different, like, just it gives a very different kind of thing. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably noise reduce a touch and then add grain because they, they like, they're like very subtly different, but I feel like you can, if something's just, if you've just like whacked your eyes so up, like there's no tomorrow, you can tell, and you can tell it's not like a, is a great, tell it's not like a, like a film grain kind of thing. Yep. Um, Why are we getting to it? Wait, did you complete the edit or no? I'm sorry. Nearly, I'm very close. I'm really, close. really excited for the before and after the little, I'm excited for it. Um, yeah, I'll play around like the roughness and the size and that kind of thing quite a lot as well. Um, and I'm kind of, I think I'm kind of pretty much that. I'm actually just going to see if I can change his face a little bit. So I'm going to use like the brush. And generally, I'll just like leave it on the settings that it's in. I, gen I think, yeah, generally it's like an exposure kind of adjustment that I'll make. Um, and then you'll mod so it. I'll, yeah. And that just so I can, I'll kind of like ramp it up really high just so I can really see clearly yeah. what it's kind of affecting and that kind of thing. Um, and I guess like generally I'll use this on the face. Um May I mean pink sock is pink socks is such like a big part of like the brand as well. Oh cool. That, Good um, to know. I might try. I mean, I think I think I might try and bring them out a little bit. It depends, it depends what the lighting conditions are like. But yeah, it's quite like a I think people know him quite a lot as like the guy with the pink socks. Um so yeah, I like it. I like I kind of always like the face to be unless it's totally silhouetted, I think the the face is quite like an important thing to be um to be kind of recognizable. Yeah. Um, especially if you're kind of like trying to reach like a wider audience, it's like, I think it's quite important, but, um, it's in terms of like a branding marketing kind of perspective, I think it's quite important to like get honestly, as much as you possible. could show me the silhouette of this photo. When I, now that I've seen him do this, I would recognize that it's him. Like, yeah. I feel like the way he performs is almost so recognizable yeah. now. Yeah. I, I think, I think he has, yeah, he has a very kind of, um, very like unique style, which is fun. It was always fun for me. Yeah. So I'm maybe trying to bring these out just a touch. Maybe bring the saturation up. I mean, doing it slightly messy. But... There was this guy. I'm from Madison, Wisconsin, and there's this. Uh, I don't know if he was. He's not technically homeless, but he was a uh, he was a street performer, and I know he made mm. most of his money from that. And he was a uh, pretty low income, um, borderline homeless. And he had a song called Pink Pants, and his name was Art Paul. I forget his last name. And he uh, played a kazoo or a harmonica, or no, a kazoo and a guitar. And it went pink pants, pink pants. Tell your uncles, tell your aunts, pink pants. And I went. love that guy. Yeah, dude, he's a legend. And so that's so funny, a local hero. Yeah, dude, I always, I you, I was asking to play that song. He's got some good ones. Some about peanut butter and jelly. And I don't know. It's oh, it's, nice. it's a good time. What do you call him? Okay, bus. No, what's the name for a street performer? A busker. Yeah, busker, someone that's like busker. yeah, a busker. busker. Yeah. I th yeah, I think I'm about done. I mean, like, yeah, there's there's just this one little thing that's driving me slightly insane. So I'll just pull that bottom corner down a little bit more. And yeah. Try and, try and hide my interesting handiwork on the, on the spot. Remote. No, that looks, that looks good. That, that looks good. That looks really good. Vibes. Vibes. Yeah. If I was being super, super nitpicky, I might get rid of these kind of uh, lights as well. I don't, know what, I don't know what those fixtures are. Actually. I think there might be some blinders that are kind of like about to die out. Um, but uh, yeah, I think this is kind of where I'm at. Let's go with this. Let's run with it. Nice. All your all your friends and fans and followers from UK right now are up late. So yeah, thanks yeah. guys. Yeah. It's like half two, half two in the morning. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not For our like US friends, that's two thirty. Uh, <laughs> just that, just to that, just to clarify, that's one of the hardest things. Yeah. That's one of the hardest things that I've had to deal with. Actually, going back to your earlier question, that no one understands. Yeah, half two. You mean one? One o'clock. One? <laughs> Excuse me. It took me ages to understand why everyone was struggling so much. I was like, "What are you guys talking about?" It doesn't make any sense, to be fair. Yeah. Two thirty. Um, sweet. Cool. Yeah, vibes. Yeah, we did it. So you, Let's do it. Nice edit, man. Nice Thank edit. Thank you. Thank all you applause, much. applause all around. Her snaps. Yeah, good job. Um, give us a before and after. Hit the little backslash or whatever it's called. So I've kind of ruined this though, because this is this is a virtual copy. This isn't the original. Let me do this. Okay. 
Ooh, there we go. This is the original. There it is. This is a, yeah, quite. I like it. Different. I feel yeah. like you do the equivalent of like. I want to say this, but I don't mean it in like a bad way. I mean it in like the best way ever. Different. Like you know when like somebody takes a T-shirt and they kind of like cut the corners off and they dirty it up and they make it look like a rock. I literally do. I feel that, like you yeah. do that with photos. I feel like you're just like, I'm gonna <laughs> make sick. give us some grime and it looks. Good. I love that. Yeah, it yeah. looks really good. I love that. Thank you. You made yeah. it your own. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I'm into it. Um. Cool. Well, so let's. You want to do a Q and A? Let's move yeah, on. Let's well, to Q and A, we also got Never. the Steve. I think that. Uh. Well, we do Q and A with him. I don't know. I kind of forgot to tell you, but usually I have people grab like some of their favorites. But if you mm. didn't, it's fine because maybe you can kind of dictate them to us after we do the Q and A, and we'll like mm. pull, pull them up. And cool. Steve, while we're doing Q and A, if you want to prepare your screen, because we're going to share your screen. How's that sound? I've got sure. my screen ready to go. Okay, cool. Well, let's hit the Q and A first, and then we'll do some uh, some of his favorite edits and stuff, and we'll cool. talk about some of the submissions. Um, Sounds good. You want to unshare your screen Just there, Tom? Let me stop sharing my screen. There we go. And then for Bang. Q for Q and A, guys here. We got a lot of people in here, so if you just want to keep it to your questions, we can get to them. But if you like spam the same thing, it's going to be really hard because it's going to go away before we get to ask it. So we can work together here to get some questions through. So let's see. We got Kiki. When you're shooting all day on the go, do you ever edit on your phone or do you wait till you get it to a laptop when you're like, on yeah, no, I do actually. Yeah, I do. We did one of them. I specifically remember we just landed in Russia last year. We're just doing um, we had a we had a show in Moscow. And we, I think we just landed and uh, we, we kind of like, we're quite tapped into like the, the, like the algorithm and stuff of like Instagram and like posting times because of like, cause it's such like an international audience. Right. You kind of got a cater for the U S and the UK and Australia and Asia and Russia and all this kind of jazz. Um, so we, we just landed in Russia, I think. And we like raced to take this photo somewhere. Um, and we, and my dom just really wanted to like get it get it up and we, i think we were like 25 minutes out from the hotel then i had to like get it imported and then all that all all the business on my end and i was like you know what let's just throw them to my phone through like 10 off the camera just on the wi-fi and um and so yeah i do actually it's generally not like it's generally not like super crazy like intense edits and stuff it's more like mm -hmm. if it's going to be more minimal it's just a little bit of like ironing stuff out a little bit of contrast and like sorting the exposure out and stuff but yeah i do yeah we do that a little bit can I hit you with some like fast, quick answer questions? That yes. I, okay. Yes, you may. And if anything's an inside joke, I apologize. I'm not fully That's fine. understood. That's fine. Yeah. Dorito flavor. Oh, uh, uh, chili heat wave. That's like the UK one, but chili heat wave. Favorite veggie meal. Mm, uh, Adam makes some pretty banging pasta at the moment, so we'll go with All that. Right. McDonald's order or Nando's order. Pick your truth. <sighs> Or oh, Nando's order, um, butterfly chicken burger with, uh, Ooh. depending on how I'm feeling, garlic Nando's bread soda. and peri go. salted fries. Maybe the macho Whoa. peas, though. Uh, favorite 1975 song? 1975. Paris. There we go. Uh, city in the UK. Favorite city in the UK? Uh, Liverpool. Um, that's all I got. All right, cool. Fire. Oh, great, oh wait. Great, great, one, great one last one. What's your yeah. pub, pub order? Oh, Guinness. Pat Guinness. There we go. Um, do you have a favorite photo that you've ever taken that comes to mind? That question the, is from yeah. Chris Arch twenty. Chris, Chris Arch twenty. Um, yeah, I do. They, there's yeah, they, they kind of like morph and that kind of thing. There's one photo in particular. Yeah, I think I think I Instagrammed it not long ago. It was from the set of. Um, it was. This is kind of one. I like. They kind of fluctuate, and I get like new favorite photos and that kind of thing. But mm -hmm. it was like it was on. It was a thirty-five mil shot of Dom on the set of. Um, I think I'm okay, which is a song that he did with Machine Gun Kelly and Travis Barker. Oh, I um, love that song. It's like one of my favorite song. songs of the oh, past ever. It's amazing. Take me it's back like to 2003 or 2005 yeah. when emo was like. Exactly, and that's like, and we like we, we had like a great time shooting the video and some lot in like downtown LA, I think. Um, and yeah, there's a, there's a photo of him in like a green and black kind of stripy jumper thing, um, and yeah, it, and it was, I think it just made it even more special. It was like a 35 mil, and I got the focus like bang on. Um, I like the bucket in the back of like like some like mad scaffolding and stuff just like fits perfect. Anyway, yeah, that's like my favorite photo. That's great. Let me let me throw one in here. Uh, this is from uh, E L G R P E, which I'm not sure what that would be. Elger? I don't know. Uh, Who knows? And it's a great question because you mentioned you studied audio in university. Yeah. Why didn't you go into audio? How'd you end up in photography? Um. 
I think, I mean, yeah, I, I went, there was only one place that I wanted to go to university. Um, and so when I was finishing school, I was like, I was super, I was like audio, audio, straight up audio. Um, love it. Wanted to be a studio engineer for a bit, then wanted to be a front of house guy, then wanted to be a theater engineer and then kind of fluctuate a lot between those few. And then I, I didn't get into uni and then um, it was the only place I wanted to go. So I took a gap year, bought a camera with my first paycheck from a job. Um, and then just start, I'd, I'd always wanted to shoot like me. Well, I say always, I'd wanted to do it for like a year, a couple of years beforehand. And then um, I kept doing it all the way through uni. And it was like, it was great for me because I could do the audio thing and study that. But I was also, there's a load of bands that people start. I went to kind of like a performing arts college in Liverpool. Um, and loads of people were starting bands and stuff. And mm -hmm. I was like, some of my best mates were in like a really great band. And so I used to do all their visuals and was doing them like alongside each other for ages and ages and ages. And then I, one, I was kind of coming to the end and I was like, I love audio and I love doing it, but I think I'm better at this other thing that I've, that I've just been doing as well. Um, and I wanted to do the video, I wanted to do the photo thing. And uh, it, was, it was like a hard decision. It was quite a big decision to make because I've spent three years on however many thousand pounds studying this thing that I'm now not going to do. So that was quite scary. Um, but honestly, it was, just, it was just like a leap. It felt like the right decision. And so I was like, I'm going to pursue this. I, I've, I've like done the study now I can always go back and kind of fall back on, on my plan B essentially. Um, but yeah it, yeah, it was, it was not an easy decision, but I think it was the right one. I think. Um, Steve, what? did you grab yeah, another, did you grab another highlighted one? I actually closed it, but if you want to get yeah. one of those, got it. Go uh, I did. Uh, what is something you know now that you wish you knew when you started? <sighs> Photography, not life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a lot. That was a very different question. Just to clarify, too, yeah. Just to clarify. Just to clarify. Um, just to clarify. Yeah. Um, I wish. And, I don't think there's necessarily a right way to do anything. Um, I'm just gonna turn this light off. I look super shiny. Um, yeah, I don't think there's necessarily like a, a right way to do anything. There's there's better and more effective ways to do stuff for sure. But there's stuff that I do that definitely isn't like perceived as the right way to do things, if you want to call it that. Um, I think. Yeah, what another really, really big one for me, I think, is stop comparing yourself to other people that are further further ahead of you. And even people that are kind of at the same stage as you, because stuff happens at different times to different people. I felt like I'd been doing it flipping ages before I got off of my first tour and got the chance to go and do it. I've been shooting gigs for like four years? Five, three years, three and a half well years. Well done. Just doing it for like blogs and just like for, for people, for bands and that kind of thing, small bands that I knew. Um, but yeah, you, you just can't compare yourself to other people. It's like, it's it's really easy to do and I still do it, but it's one of those, the worst things. It's so soul destroying to compare Wait, yourself. Can I, can I chime in? And this is like, yeah. I, I, I would say like, and I hope this is cool to like quick ask and we're doing your q &A, yeah, yeah. but like I, I love comparing myself to other people, but I think like, like, like what you're saying is it's really important what you do with that information. Like I think, cause, yeah, cause like absolutely. I like to use yep. it as like, like for example, like I look at your stuff and I'm like, wow, I maybe I want to shoot like that. And I compare like what you do differently and I use it to kind of like learn. But I think what you're touching on is like comparing yourself and then getting down on yourself about it is like yeah. definitely that like I agree. That's a rough thing to fall into. Well, yeah. and, and that, your quote yeah. was perfect and and that is things happen to people at different times. Yeah, that's a good place. That's Absolutely. a good way. To, I mean, yeah. that's that's a perfect quote is good, don't good compare point. level because it just may not be your time it's yet. It's not things linear, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Adam. That's a very, that's a very good point, actually. It, yeah, and when I say compare yourself to other people, in 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 like a negative way, it's like oh, obviously, compare like the amount, like draw inspiration from anything, yeah. anyone, whether it's like books, film, TV, other people, like music, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's when that affects you negatively. I think that's like I I still compare myself to people all the time and you do it but then the, the way that you compare yourself to other people you can draw some really amazing stuff out of it and it can like boost your like creativity and that kind of thing yes agreed um thank you for elaborating too i like Bye. i like i like your mind on that um this came from a few people but i'm reading it off of hello x miles about how many photos do you take per show and how many of them do you actually mm. end up using posting or like mm. maybe you can say like how many you shoot yeah. how many go to dropbox and how many get posted yeah. yeah um so i generally I'm probably looking about 1500, 2000, maybe in a day. Sure. That's, that's a day. Yeah. So I'm shooting throughout the day as well. I think this is something that um, Matty said when he was on a, a couple of weeks ago as well, that it's like you're shooting throughout the day. It's like maybe yeah. for the show, I'm looking at maybe like 1000, 1200, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, depending on the show, depending on 
there's so many variables, but yeah, generally between like 1500 to 2000, I think I'll then be super, super brutal. I'll generally, I'll generally edit straight after the show. Mm -hmm. We'll do like, we'll, we, we, we tend to do like a meet and greet. So we'll go outside and meet the fans and that kind of thing. And, and Dom will say hi to everyone. So we're going to shoot that as well. So that's like another thing. Um, and then, but when I'm back on the bus, I'm like laptop out, mm -hmm. let's go. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty brutal. I kind of know what I want now. Um, so I'll be like, you mean you can see through, you can cut through it really fast, and you're like, I know yeah, the shots yeah. I got today. Gotcha. Exactly. Um, and a lot. I mean, because he moves so fast as well, I'm shooting on burst quite a lot. So like, there'll be one in one in ten that will be like, that will probably make the cut for that. Um, depending on the, depending on, it varies a lot depending on the day, but we'll maybe look around like thirty photos from the show, and maybe just some like more like candid kind of stuff. I mean, I give I give him quite a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Cause I don't know, it's, it's just the way that I work. I know a lot of people are very like super, super, super selective, but we're the way that our kind of team works is that it's it's less of like an official kind of I'm going to send it to management kind of thing, um, which I know is how some teams work. It's it's more like I uh, I'll just put them in a the Dropbox, put it in our WhatsApp group, mm -hmm. and then people do it. And I'll send them I'll send them to Dom, and he might he might come back and ask for like a couple of changes on something if he wants to put it up somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'm probably looking about between like 30 and 50 on a day into the Dropbox, and then mm -hmm. the Adam and Mikey, the um, they'll they'll post some stuff. I'll generally post stuff from the show the day after. Um, Don may post stuff from the show, he might not. We tend to do more like kind of editorial kind of stuff for his social media, just because it's what kind of engages engages a bit better. Um, but yeah, probably looking about 30 to 50 in a Dropbox. Um, you, you let me let me interject, Adam. I apologize. No, you're good. Uh, you made you made the comment he may come back to you with mm. changes that he wants. Yeah. Give me an example of what he might ask for. Um, he might, if it's just, if it's something like a crop or something, I'll just like airdrop it to myself, maybe crop it on my phone, um, either in Lightroom or literally just the photos up sometimes, depending on what it's for. Um, it, gen, generally, it might be like a color thing, or, or it might just be as simple as, can you just throw this in black and white? And I have like, I have like kind of three main black and white like presets that I've made that right. must be like, okay. We like that. Boom. There you go. There it is in black and white kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, generally, generally, he's like, I mean, he, he, he trusts me quite a lot. We have quite a lot of mutual trust with each other. So he, I won't give him something that I don't think is good enough. Um, uh, right. Or I'll, I'll, I'll give him the photo the way that I see it looking best. Um, the majority of the time he agrees. Occasionally he comes back and he's like, can we maybe try this? And like, slightly different i'm just like yeah fine it's, it's not it's a, a, it's a collaboration which is like the underlying yeah, right. theme to most of this is like your relationship with him is you know it, it, like you said there's no right or wrong way there's just your way yeah. and that's what you do when you guys collaborate you work together yeah. and that's yeah, why exactly. the relationship works so well that's yeah. why i thought that was interesting because that's to me how it should be yeah yeah, yeah it's not like an official kind of like you will send this here and then it, we will approve these and you can and right. it's, it's just let's just go we have yeah we're like we they, I think they, they trust me quite a lot, which is good. Do so like to... Dominic Hyperson wants to know what have you learned while in quarantine? Maybe you have something you learned from being in quarantine. What have I learned in quarantine? I've learned how to adapt a lot more. Um, make do with what you've got, I think. Because um, I think when before it was so easy to kind of be like, I need, I need this and I need this and we need this to do this. And it's like, let's just make it work with kind of what we've got. Like I've, I've packed pretty light in terms of gear and that kind of thing um and so it's we've been kind of made do with what we've got obviously it's quite hard to kind of get hold of anything especially even like essential iron is not necessarily a new lens um and that kind of thing um mm -hmm. i think i think i think it's big been a big learning experience for all of us we've learned how to like how to do stuff like kind of on our own um which because we've had to it's been like a bit of a chuck you in at the deep end kind of thing um mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's we've we've definitely learned a lot. I feel like I've kind of I've kind of I've had time to to look into stuff that I wanted to learn about that I just haven't had time before. Yeah. I like got a lot more conscious of like lighting and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I think that def that's definitely been something productive that we've done with our time. That's great. And there's a lot of questions that people like they want to kind of know like, what is your favorite part of the set to shoot, and do things like that happen in the crowd catch your eye during the set, and what's your like routine mm. afterwards so like yep. maybe you could talk a little bit more about that like i know there's yeah. a bunch of questions that kind of fulfilled that area so. that's okay um uh yeah so i i literally love shooting the crowd it's so it's so much fun it's it's like to see people's reactions because i've seen the show a million times mm -hmm. i like i kind of know what's gonna happen mm -hmm. um 
but seeing like so you like you can kind of tell when it's like someone's first show or like when people are just so in it i like love shooting i love shooting the crowd because people bring like signs people like look sick or if people are like totally lost in it. i remember we did we played a festival in canada last summer i think it might have been ottawa blues fest maybe and there was this girl in the front <laughs> who I, th- I think I put it on my Instagram as well, actually. This girl, who's like got her eyes closed, and like her arms up like that. And he's just like screaming every word the entire set. So stuff like that, I love shooting. I love like capturing- Real emotion, real emotion. Yeah, yeah. Like real raw emotion. People are like so in it. Um, uh, so what was the other part of the question? They wanted to know like, yeah, that's one of them. Like a favorite part of the show. Like maybe there's favorite a certain thing he does every day or- yeah. I love Kill Somebody. Kill Somebody's great. So that's a song where... <laughs> that's a song. That is, that is a song, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, where he, he kind of starts it on his own on a guitar. And there was a bit that we put into the show where he, him and the crew all put like ski masks, uh, like balaclavas and the stab vest on and, oh, cool. uh, and go out into the crowd. And so no one knows who he is. And at one point, it's like a Spartacus moment. He like pulls his ski mask off and he's one of them. He create like a circle in the middle with like a spotlight. Yeah. And so I'm always up, if there is one, up on like the balcony, like super high up and just seeing kind of that bit of the show is always so, it's like a challenge for me because every venue is different. I'm like, where am I going to go today? Yeah. Like I have to like scout it out during the day. Um, but that's always a really good moment. That's a really special moment, I think. And then do you have like an a- after show routine? Like maybe you can say like, okay, show's over. What do you guys do afterwards? I know you said you go outside. But yeah. Anything else. Yeah. Uh, show's over. Um, maybe have like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, just kind of like, just like, either be like super hyped after the show or whatever, or just kind of like calm down a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, as we are saying, we'll go out um, and see whoever's waiting outside, generally by the bus. Um, say hi, maybe sing a little bit and then uh, get on the bus, start editing and maybe a few beers. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, shower, yeah. shower shoes? Yes or no? Had to ask it. Shower shoes? Yeah, do you know shower in the, shoes? As in like in wearing shoes. When you take a shower, shower shoes, when you take yeah. a shower at, at a venue, you- at a venue, venue, do you have oh, yeah. shoes you wear in the shower? Yeah, oddly enough, I've got like those Adidas like sliders. Yeah, there which, you go. But I don't wear them in the shower. I just wear them everywhere else but the shower. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, Fine. that's my guy. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't care. I mean, it's 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 got soap and water running along it. It's probably <laughs> fine. That's how I I've live. Got, yeah, I'm not that I'm not that picky about. It. Like, obviously, I don't want germs food's fine on the I'm ground. Like, yeah, I'm just like, yeah. I'll eat a skittle. It. I'll eat a skittle off the ground. It's got a hard shell. Five second rule. Easy. Yeah, five seconds. Yes, agreed. Exactly. Um, uh, let's do a few more here, and then we'll go over some photos together. How's that sound? Nice. Let's do it. Ones. Um, the first thing you do when you get ho- you're going to do when you get home. I, I'm assuming back to where you live. In. Back to the UK. Back to the UK. Probably go see my mum and dad. That was from, um, that was from Polly's Lolly. I just had to Polly's Lolly. Oh, yeah. I think that's Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Uh, uh, pr- yeah, go see my mum and dad, and then in the north. Then I want to go to London, go to the Holy Arms for a pint when it's open. And E. E. Pop wants to know, do you have a favorite college photography course? Did you take any? No, I actually didn't. I because uh, you did that audio. was like I did audio, yeah. So it wasn't that was I never really thought about doing photography at university because I only picked it up like when I was kind of eighteen. Uh, eight, yeah, I was eighteen. I was eighteen when I picked up my first camera. There you so, go. Um, so yeah, no, I didn't actually. It was totally YouTube videos. Peter McKinnon and Travel Fields and Adam Albuquerque. Thanks, bro. Thanks for the shout. Yeah. Uh, favorite thing a fan has given you? Favorite thing a fan has given me? Somewhere, there was a girl in Canada who gave us all, like, made us, like, tie-dye socks with our names on them. That's fire. That was pretty that awesome. Is, that was that sick. That is so We've cool. Some, we got some cool stuff. We got some cool That's stuff. dedication. Oh, first show in America. We were talking about this with somebody the other day. Uh, flew out to Nashville, and someone had given someone, like, this Japanese kimono thing. And yeah. So I, just, I just wore it backstage all day. That's great. It was pretty legit. I can't lie. I think I did miss it. A lot of people also just want to know, and I don't know if this is public information or if you share it, but they want to know like how you got started with working with Youngblood, like how you met ah, Dom yeah. or introduced, or how that kind of progression yeah. happened from what you were doing. Um, so we're for, we're from quite close cities in the north of England. So I'm from Leeds. He's from Doncaster. Um, mm-hmm. so everyone kind of thinks that we've known each other for years and years, and it is <laughs> totally like not the case at all. I was basically. <laughs> I went freelance at the beginning of 2019 um, and I'd been doing it like a couple of months with not much success, really. Um, it was pretty, it was like the start, yeah, it's the start of the year. It was like first quarter, no one was really doing anything. No one was really touring. 
everyone's tightening their belts after Christmas kind of thing. So I wasn't really, I wasn't doing like a crazy amount of work. And then I, I was doing a lot of work for Dom's label in the UK, a label called Polydor. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and then one day I got, I got kind of, I was doing a lot of like graphic stuff, like cutting like social assets and stuff out of like music videos and whatever, just kind of ad hoc kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I got asked if I could do Dom's content in the UK because he had a photographer. He already had a photographer with him on the road, but when he wanted someone in like the same time zone when he's in the UK to like mm-hmm. do stuff. <clears throat> so um, I was like, yeah, and I, I knew of Dom for like a year, year and a half before beforehand. So I was like, that was like, I'd love, I'd love to do this job. So I started doing that. And then um, fortunately for me, his previous photographer dropped out of doing the UK tour, like quite, quite soon before it started. So like I got a call minute, the day, yeah. like, yeah, like super last minute. So I got a call the day before, um, from his manager and was like, what are you doing this week? I was like, oh, I've got a, I've got a couple of gigs and stuff to do. He was like, do you want to come and do the Youngblood UK tour? I was like, yeah, yeah, sick. When is it? And he was like, oh, it starts tomorrow in Dublin. I was like, oh, okay. You're like, let's um, go. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was like 4 or 5 p.m. And so I called I called one of my housemates who like worked at the label. I was like, I'm really, really sorry. Yeah. Because um, I was shooting for the label that week. I was like, I'm really sorry, but I've just got the call. They want to do the Youngblood tour. And he was like, okay, no, it's fine. We'll sort it all out you're not letting anyone down go do it and so i had to like sort it out and call my mom and dad i was like i'm flying to dublin in the morning to do this tour do yeah. you know how the manager found you yeah through the label it's through the label okay. i think um i think i was doing i worked with another band my the band that I first toured the band called apre in the uk um so i would, i was touring with them and i think they had the same like product manager who like the same guy person like who looks after both projects um and I AR. think, okay. yeah, I think his, I think his manager um, just, just hit him up and was like, do you know anyone that can do this? They're like, oh, this guy does this kind of thing. So, so it's um, like right place, right time, no people kind of thing. Very much. It, yeah, yeah, very much right place, right time. Um, That's great. But like, yeah, but like the, the kind of the first kind of foot in the door is the, the, mm-hmm. one of my best mates, Ed, who works at the label. He, I met him at university um, and we just ended up living together. I ended up living in his parents' spare room when I first moved to London. So, um, and then he ended up getting a, a job at the label and all this kind of thing. So, um, yeah, it was like a, it was like a uni friend basically that kind of got me the gig. That's great. Well, it's it's always good when like you can have, like from his point of view, I'm sure it's great to be able to help a friend. And it's from yeah. your point of view, I'm sure it's hate to be able to deliver something so nice on Absolutely. your friend's recommendation. Yeah, um, it's, yeah, it's always, it's it's you yeah, bang on. It's it's really nice to be able to like, um, which is why I try and kind of try and do it where I can to like help mates out and kind of put try and put people in the right kind of rooms and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's really great when you can do it with your mates. Yeah. And I just want to reiterate the right place, right time thing. It shouldn't, like somebody said, it scares you. Like it's very much just this industry because um, this industry, there's not a lot of people who are able to do it for a living because there's just only so many artists. So there's a lot of types of photography that you can do and make a living off of. And then eventually, hopefully turn music into your career. And sometimes it might take a year or two, like in Tom's case, um, working in the industry before you do it and correct me if I'm wrong on those timelines. No, 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 that's right. And then sometimes it might take five or 10. And like you said, you know, don't compare yourself to people like that. There's a different path. It's right. Different, different things work for different people. Don't worry about it. Absolutely. Um, yep. Um, cool. Well, let's, if, if you're good there, I think we answered a pretty good amount of questions. Um, uh, can we, Steve, you got some favorites you want to pull up here, Tom? I figured uh, Steve will pull up some of sure do. Kind, yeah, kind of great. talk about what we liked, what we didn't like, and we'll go from so there. So first of all, just for everybody, that's the shot I was talking about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for those that yeah. didn't go see it. Steve, wrong photo. Um, we're actually doing a different photo. Uh, yeah, 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 I know. Okay. Uh, so okay. this is by uh, Leia Hutton. Oh, yeah, this one's wild. This is sick. This is mad. Dude, this, this one is, is so cool. Yeah. This one looks like it, it like got lost in the rubble of a of like a bombed house in Dude, World War Two. This is crazy. Pink, the pink hair too that they yeah, just the added in. Nuts. I'm yeah. like, wow, this person understands art. Yeah, no, the the I think one of the sick things as well is is the kind of like the the, the star filter kind of thing. Yeah, um, that they've put on, which is which is tight. And I, honestly, I, I'm such like a big advocate for like using textures and stuff. Um, but but yeah, like all this it's so like it's not over the top while still being like really, really cool. Um, yeah, I love it. I love this one. This one's hot. Yeah. When I first looked at it, I thought it reminded me of an analog effects from from Nick. But like you say, then the, the hair color, the, the mm. scratch overlay is just all done really, really tasteful. And, we'll, and yeah. we'll we'll throw a link up in the in the in the chat so you guys can go comment on it or leave them some love. Like it honestly it goes a really long way. So if you see a photo come up here like 
throw them, throw them, throw them a nice job or anything. And we really appreciate yeah, that. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's lone wolf Leia on, on Twitter and uh, excellent job. I had to put this one up. This is Maddie. Oh, we got Vogel in dude. Respect to him. Dude, this is fine. This one's amazing. Like the, the kind of the attention that he's put into, like he's totally like removed everything yes. else. Yes. So and good. Like, and it, I first saw this on Twitter a few days ago. I was like, yeah, that's rad. And then I looked, it came up again on my feet. I was like, hold on. He's got rid of like everything. Yeah. Every, I, and, re, and very well and got it, rid of everything. Except, that's what, that's the thing. I didn't even notice. It's my fault. I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. It'd be really funny if somebody went even farther and just got rid of Dom also. They were just it's like, just, right, just a really <laughs> great light <lighting laughs> fixture. And then <laughs> took one of the mic stands that you yeah, love and, put it and stuck it right in the middle. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I think, it, past I think, I think I, yeah. I just have to say respect to Maddie just because. I have had other other professional photographers or pros be like, "Hey, can we edit the photos?" I was like, "Please do." Yeah, it's we awesome. need somebody to start so everybody does it because it's cool. Like, I like the vibe of like professionals editing other people's stuff and like yeah. no ego, just community. Like, so props to Maddie for doing this. Yeah, no, everybody, I was jazzed. Yeah. Everybody I was follow him. Yeah, and and Maddie, great edit, love yeah, the edit, phenomenal edit. Okay, this one is, this is uh, from Instagram. Yeah, that's a vibe. I'm so into that. I love, yeah, like that that kind of fake lens flare thing, like fits so well. Whoa. There we go. Steve, chill out, man. I know. I'm trying. It jumped on me, man. Steve's yeah. power hungry. It's alive. Yeah. It's alive. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. This one's this one's crazy. The lens flare fits so well. If I if I didn't yeah if I didn't know the original as I do, I totally think that was like an organic thing. That's wicked. That's really tight. Yeah, I like when they make the edits look like you don't know if it's edited. You're just like, yeah. oh, that looks cool. Exactly. Well, I, oh, I have. Really I have a firm belief if I see your Photoshop work, something went wrong. Yeah. And unless it looks intentional. Yeah, I should, absolutely, I should say. yeah. Here, when I first saw this, I, I went back to look at the original RAW to see, did they bring out a lens flare <laughs> that, that just was in the so. background and they pulled it out? Because it's really well done. Yeah, that's awesome. Agreed, I love that one. agreed. Uh, let's see. Oh, This, this yes. one was the animated one. So yeah, got a play button on it. Ooh. Now, hire this person. This one's mad. Hire him. This one's so mad. The the cinegraph on that. Yeah, that is cool. Right. That is. Yeah. Cool. I mean, talk about next level. Yeah, I know. It's mad. So yeah. like, that one's crazy. Yeah, and that's that's not that's, to get it looking that like that. Not, like I've dabbled in cinegraphs and stuff myself, but to get it looking like that natural and to get kind of like it it looks like it's just like a super 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 slow move it. But that's tight. I love that one. That's amazing. I, I love that you do cinemagraphs. I love them. They're awesome when they're done mm. well. Yeah, it, nice. yeah, it was. Well, that's the thing. It was when I was when I wasn't working as much as I am now. It was like I was like, right, what can I do that might be valuable to someone? And that was just one of the things that I kind of picked up. Yeah. Oh. This one I pulled up for a weird reason, and that was you can see them in the far right one, but then the layers. I just thought it was. It's cool to see how some people see things. Oh yeah, exactly. I totally agree. That's yeah. Yeah, I think you can get so set in your way of doing things when someone else does something like that, it just like blows your mind. This is yeah, this one was sick. I didn't. Hey, I didn't is this, is this a like screenshot, it. Steve, or is it a bookmark? Uh, no, it's a. I opened the post. Yeah, it's a bookmark. Scroll to the right. They said they did three edits. Let's see what they. Said. Oh yeah. One two. One, oh, about, so yeah, that's one that's oh, cool. As well. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And, cool. and oddly, I like this one the best. I yeah. think you know what I really like actually is oh. like you can. Still kind of like make out his face. Yep. And the one on the far right, you've got, got that kind of detail in there, which is really sick. Yeah. Kind of, that's what like draws your eye to that that part of the frame, I think. This is art, maybe. Okay, this, this is, one's yes. Twitter. This is Luis Did Guillermo you know. on Twitter. This reminds me of a, a, a somebody going Super Saiyan. Dragon Ball Z. That's, that's sick. That's, uh, that's such a vibe. I like, yeah, I like, is that, there's like a texture thing on there as well. That's it? the reason I grabbed yeah. it. More than, the, more than the echo of him. Yeah. It's that texture overlay I thought worked. That's a really nice one, actually, as well. This, yeah, I have a bit of like, I've, I've kind of built up a little bit of a catalog of like the ones that I really like, because you can get some super, super bad ones. But this is sick. This is really cool. Dude. It's like the bottom left. It looks like it's kind of been folded. How inspiring was it to see all these edits? You're like, wow. Oh, I've never had anyone edit my photos before. <laughs> it was mad. It oh, was this so one's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw this oh. one and went, okay. I'm clearly doing everything in my life wrong because I didn't even see this in my head and somebody did. That Word art is saw this. sick. That is awesome. Yes. I love that. That's my, that's like, that's like a limited edition poster kind of thing. That's crazy. Right? 
you could see an artist doing that. Oh yeah. I love the little paintbrush thing as well. Yes. That, oh, wow. Yeah. That's blowing my mind. Oh, that so one's crazy. Creative. Yeah. Uh, here's one on Twitter from Paige <laughs> I love it. Jones. They threw up. What is that an overlay? What's that on the, is that the crowd? Yeah. It's, it's, That's mad. it's him standing in the back with the flag at the mic. Yeah. And then the crowd in front and the blend job isn't by any means perfect. That's the one thing I, if you took the time to blend looks, that in really yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, and sick, I'd get though. rid of the pedal. <laughs> oh God, that, that pedal ball needs to go. Pedal's got to go. Yeah. Pedal's got to go. But other than that. Yeah. I think Great some serious idea. words with Ben, our guitar tech after this. Yeah. Serious words. <laughs> and this was the last one that I had pulled up. That's great too. I love the the, tone, the tones this person did match the tones that you like to do. The warmer. Yeah. Tones. I thought that yeah. was interesting. Yeah, yeah. that is. They, they've, it's weird. I've seen some like some of them that have come up that are very like um, that are kind of quite similar to like the original one. I I, I I posted the original one as well last week. Yeah. But, um, and then I regretted it instantly and deleted it. So I don't think too many people saw it because because I'd seen your tweet Adam when you were like I love. I love seeing people seeing people's edits when they haven't seen the original photo. Oh yeah, yeah, right. I was like, ah, oh, wait, oh no, let's get rid of that. I want to see what people. Yeah, do you'll see all the stuff. smart. Yeah. Yo, uh, Steve, why don't you just pull up either me, just pull up the app to the original tweet if you go to my Twitter or the or the yep. Instagram tags, and we can kind of just like talk together, Tom and us, and just tell us what you thought overall of the edits. Like, let's just give it a scroll so we can kind of give some people some mm. screen time here. Cool. But um. I figure like, yeah, I think it's pinned there. So if you just hit that and view the replies and just scroll down and just kind of see like, like what'd you, what's your overall feel of how people edited this? These are things they noticed that you never noticed at all or. Um, yeah. I think one of the biggest things was the way that people crop it. I think. Um, Cause I definitely have a, I definitely have a way that I kind of automatically, automatically revert to. Um, but like, like I was saying to you guys earlier that so many, so many people crop to like the five, four, which is sick. Right. Like the, like the kind of Instagram vertical, if you will, that yeah. one's nuts. Yeah. That's this, Adam sent me this one the other day and he was like, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And at first you see the smoke where he is, but then you look in the bottom right corner. Yeah. yeah. I, that was exactly what I did when I saw it as well. I looked at, I was like, that is a great way of covering that up. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I think it's it, honestly, it's the different colors that people brought out. I think, I think I got a, because I'd seen that picture like so much at the time. I was like, oh yeah, that's see, and I didn't thing. see, I think Tom, you and I were talking in the green room before we started yeah. streaming. I didn't see a ton of black and whites. Mm. I actually edited mine black and white, kind of a film emulation, yeah. but I added a, a slight kind of bluish hue over it. Mm. Um, here's one with an overlay too. But yes. I love that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah this, this is what, was interesting. Thing. Did you see this one? No, I didn't. Oh wow. That's sick. That's crazy. Yeah, honestly, the stuff that people have been doing is just nuts. It's just so mad. It's, yeah, I've never had anyone edit my photos before other than me. Um, so this cool. is, yeah, I love this. So the, a lot of people have done this and they've like kind of cloned it and like flipped, flipped it, it yeah. as well, flipped it horizontally. It's and like that's he's kind of fighting sick. himself. Exactly. <clears throat> like some Mortal Kombat kind of mm. stuff. Exactly. That's I'm a great one. I love that blue one and, the, and that oh, kind the of blue one. one. Let me go back. The blue one's great as well. Yeah, that was awesome. Oh, that's Justin. He's our he's our moderator. Justin's a ah, awesome nice guy. One. Moderator yeah, and J Roth. Good yeah. job. And Love that one. Discord creator. He's the Discord creator. It's a cool guy. Yeah, uh, that's what. Yeah, I replied to that one. That's the one with the the that he's copied it over. This oh, one. This oh. one. Go to the left. Go to the left. The left. The top left one. Yeah, Keep yeah. Going. Keep going. Keep oh. going yeah Boom. that is mad right the reason why i love this is because i love harry potter right oh yeah <laughs> I, I absolutely love harry potter and it's got some voldemort kind of like yeah i agree don't be so cliche man no, i'm just kidding <laughs> where are you no. from again <laughs> that's awesome i yeah. love this one it's almost crazy no it looks it reminds me of uh, avengers like like and that's uh, sonya yes. thank you that's a vibe yeah well done is that how you say that? I'd like Man, to see this again. Not not digging on your pedal here, but I, I'd like <laughs> to see this though with the pedal gone. Yeah, uh, just from see, a construction you, point of view. Right? Me and you are on the same yo, page. Yo, Adam, no more pedals on stage. All right. Yeah, yeah Adam, Adam, yeah, pedals, Adam, pedals got to go. go. Yeah, that was interesting where they framed him. Oh, it's like that a 3D cool. effect, see, right? Yeah. This is the yeah. This is the other thing that I noticed as well is that when I kind of zoomed in when I was just looking at it on my phone at the raw and it fits really well to like the nine sixteen. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, 
just like just like straight up, which is sick. Um, I think this is this is one of the this is one of the few that I saw that was um, that did like the vertical kind of thing, which Get is you. tight. It's sick. New phone this is backgrounds, at Bear right Kitty. Here. New phone yeah, backgrounds, new phone right here. Backgrounds from Kid Bear. Let's go. Yeah. Well, cool. Why don't I jump over. Let me jump over to Instagram in a little bit. All right, cool. Yeah, and I just want to yeah, say yeah. that I know a lot of you guys post on your stories, and I got those. There's not really a good way for me to show those but i did get them and thank you so much for tagging us and i'm sure a lot of you tagged tom as well yeah and we see some amazing ones we, we, saw it. we see yeah. everything so oh yeah just just, well yeah I'm on my phone go to the top go to the top steve go up oh let's go to tagged tag there you go we would do this on tom's but it doesn't work because so many people tag him and so many wild oh, things there's the one <laughs> yeah, yeah you don't want to see some of the stuff that people tag me i just love that shot i really do steve just that's kind of cool let's give it a scroll awesome. steve so we can see like the collage of them yeah that's cool oh Oh, see whoa. that one! I like that. That's wild. That is wild. That's crazy. That's I feel like I'm getting there. kicked in the jaw. He's checked in. I could. I honestly couldn't find what venue that was. <laughs> that's that's nice. Um, oh, yeah, 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 I love, yeah, love, love that one. I looked it up. Crazy. Here's another interesting one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a sick one. That's a nice framing of that doing the Polaroid yeah. kind of thing. That's a vibe. I love that kind of goldy one. Yeah, there's that mad You see how they again. got the rainbow going on here? Oh, yeah. That's tight. Yeah. Kind of nice. I'm all Yo, for that. Youngblood fans are sick. And your Dude, fans. Young I mean, fans I'm assuming so there's creative. a lot of crossover between you and them, but I I'm mean, just saying, your guys' fans are awesome. They're exceptionally creative. They're mad. Yeah, I like it. That one I brought oh, yeah, up. That's animated right. one, yeah. There's some really crazy stuff as oh, well. Oh, this one. Here. That's cool. And what's this uh, one with the over? That one on the, this. Oh, oh, dude. This one's nuts. This Jesus. one's crazy. I know, right? I'm just like, I'm blown away by that one. They put him back in his homeland. <laughs> who is that? Shot yeah, by Ilara. Yeah, good job, Ilara. Oh, yeah, let me, let me look this person up. Because that is, that is just nuts. Yeah, I I, everybody, so everybody creative. jump to these people's Instagrams. We're throwing some links in here, I think, if you want to comment on them or give them some love appreciate it yeah that one that one's crazy wow I love this, this one's interesting i like i, I don't normally so, like a dutch angle where it's tilted but this yeah. one kind of works for me this one's sick this is this is kind of like i love you know, angels live album live album cover thing that's yeah i love the contrast on it it's super like oh yeah it's super like post punk shelly's in the chat you guys shelly is here oh vibes art by shelly i think it's the person who did the last one we looked at on the on the oh movie. the which one the, this one i'm looking uh Oh, maybe it's not. I don't okay. know. Is it the poster one? Maybe it's the poster one. I agree with uh, J Roth 304, though. And that is the creativity here is just. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah. Everyone's gone crazy. See, here's another one that did the crop. Yeah, there's the, the vertical crop and took the tape Make out. Me crop. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. It is a really good, that black and white one there. You know what's interesting, though? I place. can see the amps in the back of this one. And in the other ones, you couldn't. Mm. What were you saying? Yeah, they, did, they did some background work on that. I know we're all excited here. What were you saying, Tom? Uh, it's just that black and white one there, just up and to the left, Steve. That this one. This one? Boom. I love that. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One. That. The one, above one? As well. the one above as well, though. That one. That one's <laughs> sick. Oh, yeah. I love that one. It's a good black and white photo because the shadows of the highlights are so nice. Yeah. I was, I was looking back at the collection from the, um, that I edited this one in, and I think I did do a black and white one, but I don't know whether it made the cut or not. I just don't think I was that bothered about it, but I kind of see like black my, and white ones have been crazy. This my memory is like being erased in that one. When I saw this shot, my mind immediately went to black and white because it has a look to me like you were talking early on about the classic photographers that have kind of yeah. inspired you. Mm. And this has a look to me of one of those classic rock shots, the type of thing where I tell people, stop worrying about noise because the most iconic rock and roll shots in our in existence had noise in them and nobody looked at it and went, Oh, yeah. there's noise in it. No one cared. Yeah. And, and that's what this shot has to me was it just has that classic look. Yeah. It's a good job. Look at them all. Look at them all. I hope you guys who did, who did this this week will join us next week. I know some of you guys are, are here for young blood and Tom, but we appreciate your, that heart. is, that is wacky. That's I mean, just weird. Just weird. That's weird, man. Just so creative. Yeah, some of these, some of these are absolutely nuts. That greeny kind of one, just to, on the left, Steve's sick. That one there, yeah, I love that one. That's a really, you can see the spit really well there. That pedal board, man. <laughs> you, you can't unsee it. Now. I can't yeah. unsee it now. Yeah. Ugh, yeah, that so there you go. Broken my life. There are some that, really good ones in there. Amazing submission. That's oh. the one I did right there. Yes. 
I love kicking, it. Kicking, kicking. I'm gonna go. I gotta do an edit. Well, you guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. We did it. We did two hours. We did. Well, that flew by, didn't no, it? No, it goes so fast. I know. <laughs> That's crazy. That's the thing. The sun changed so much when we started. I had to turn the light off. Yeah, dude. I know the sun. The sunset. I always get like this nice corner seat in my living room, and I just feel by yeah. the end it's like a nice, like relax. I go go outside afterwards. It's so nice out today. Oof. Yeah, I've got a fan right next to me. I'm dying right now. It's we're so a bunch hot. of we're a bunch of Cali people right here, guys. We're all in California. Yeah, we're yeah. All in LA. Hell yeah. Let's let's go. I feel like yeah. I, I feel like I can include myself in that. In that yeah, bracket. dude. You sound like yeah, dude. You're gonna have just stay wherever you're at in LA right now, and just just gain the local accent and combine it with yours, and it's just. Yeah, it's gonna make it a like, like twist when I go back. Okay. Yeah, dude. At some point, maybe this year. Maybe Are you not. from California? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go back, go back and flip flops. And... <laughs> well, cool. I guess to wrap it up, we can all just take a moment. But why don't you go first, Tommy? Just say thank you or anything you want to shout out that you've been working on that people should check out. Yeah, yeah. That, that was that was very fun. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we've got we've got some cool stuff coming up. I don't know if I can talk about it yet. But um, we've got some we've got some fun stuff coming up. Um, yeah, I genuinely, can't, I can't even think of anything to say without talking about it. So, but yeah, thank you for tuning in. That was vibes. That was well, so you're fun. staying you're staying busy. More importantly, you guys are creating yeah, content. Exactly. You're working. You're not just in California waiting for Corona to go yeah. away. You're doing your thing. So just keep checking back. Pushing. If Young yeah. Blood's putting out something visual, Tom probably had something to do with it. So check it out, uh, Steve. Because you you do his video too, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay. I do. Like just, a, a just people had asked that. I wanted to clarify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I do all his videos. Well. Keep doing them. They're awesome. And Steve, thank you. So thank much. you for joining us today. As yeah, always my pleasure to, to hang with you. And uh, it was really nice to meet you, Tom. I, yeah, I you appreciate too, you're doing this. Thanks for the image that everybody could edit. Uh, you just you do good work, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That was awesome. Thank you for coming, Tom. This is awesome. Thanks for doing it this week. It was a blast. I'm glad we could get you to release Absolutely a raw. Blast. And uh, maybe we'll do it again sometime or we'll get you on the, the group hangout one of these days on Abs Thursdays and love come to. chat with some Absolutely. other music photographers. For All sure. right, cool. For well, sure. If thank you guys for coming. Uh, if you want to shoot me a follow, cool. If not, I get it. But we do this every week. Uh, we'll release another raw tonight. It's gonna be Tom Falcone, another Tom. Tom is. Oh, sick! He's awesome. It's gonna be a portrait of Big Sean, and it's sick. So you should you should take part in it, Tom. We'll I will. This. I actually right. will. All right, let's do it. All right, but thank you guys. Have a good one. All this stuff was available. It's all recorded. We'll post clips and everything. Um, he's not gonna make. Make sure. Leave. Let me interrupt you. I apologize. Yeah. Make sure you go to Adam's YouTube channel and subscribe there. And subscribing won't tell you everything, so make sure you hit the bell there to, so that you know when he posts or, everything. Or Twitch. Twitch is good, or too. Or Twitch. Yeah. Either one. YouTube's kind of embarrassing sometimes. So. Well, either way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either way. Watch All the right. vlog I watched years ago. Oh, goodness. All right. We're ending this. Later, guys. <laughs>